Hi! Hello, everybody. I can touch my friends. Wait, that's with bad start. No, no, I'm no, <laughs> no, no, no. Keep, oh, baby, keep hey. going. <laughs> Let him cook. It's, it's your, it's your birthday radius. You get to do whatever you want. You Ooh. get to kill a man this year. Holy moly! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight. Where tonight we are Canadian Highlander Night Surge's birthday beats. Oh, neat! I hope you limbered up. <laughs> We're here to celebrate my return. We're here to celebrate my birthday. And what better way to do it with some fast-paced Canadian Highlander fighting. My name is Serge. I'm joined by an Alex. In the wings, we got a Cam. Huh? We got a Ben Ben. Hey. And of course, on tech, we got a Paul. Hello. A reminder Hello. that everything we do is brought to you by you, the support of the Patreon, over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Reminder that the Friday Night Paper Fight is also brought to you by our friends over at Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR is an affiliate code. lets us know that we sent you. And if you ask really nicely, you get a pin that says, um, prepare for Newt Newt. Move to Newt Newt step. <laughs> Move to Newt Newt step. Newt. I am always ready to Newt Newt. All right, what are we doing tonight? Well, in the spirit of birthday beats, we want to play as much magic as aggressively and as quickly as possible. So, best of one. And then the opponent is going to circle out. No rest for Jaeger over here. Just continuous Canadian Highlander beat beat. Newt newt. Newt newt. Newt newt. newt. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the train has no brakes. <laughs> oh, no. So you win the die roll. I did. You ready to rock and roll, yeah, my friend? Do this. All right, let's do it. I'm going to Arid Mesa. Beep, beep into a Death Right Shaman, finding a Ready Greeny. Your go. Ready Greeny, you say. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Don't even bother. Ooh, wow. Don't even bother. Put it back. <laughs> Uh, I believe under uh, the new uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, that would be considered a crime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex is a criminal. You're going to jail. Dude, his birthday <laughs> stream is welcome back stream. You got him. He, he wastelanded my first land, Ben Ben. Oh, good. Yeah. What I, good? I had to. It's his birthday and yeah. it's, it's also. Yeah, he had just like, shuffled it out. Like, it's not yeah. called birthday treats, dude. Yeah, <laughs> birthday. All right, Can planes. I, yeah. You want to scoot just so we can see Erting over there? I got a death right. There we go. Uh, Shadow Spear. Oh. Pass. That's dark sided. La Montagna. Go. Yeah. All right, untap. Draw for the turn. Oh. All he did was hook up your death right. He never didn't have it. All right. Oh, yep. Uh, We're going to crack this. For a greeny blacky. Yes. Yeah, did you guys talk about your decks? We didn't. That's a very good introduction there. I am playing Naya Blade. This is a deck that wants to play little creatures, make them bigger creatures. That is a bayou. What did I say? That is a bayou. What did I say? That's a bayou. What did I say? No, you, you said Naya Blade. Well, yeah, I got a black source for the death right. Naya. Hey, you know what? It, it, it works. You it's know Canadian what? Islander. Yeah, like these, these mana bases are getting too good in the year 2024. <laughs> uh, I'm at 18. Uh, yeah, so I, I do this, and then I pay the mana, and I equip it. Okay. And then I attack, and that's how the deck works. Okay. So uh, Shadow Spear gives a plus one, plus one, lifelink, and trample. So you're going to take two, and I'm going to gain two. Ow. And then I'm going to pass a la biblioteca on over to you. You always pass a la biblioteca. <laughs> Naya Blade fetches for Bayou. What you on, my dude? Carclusian Forest. Uh, I'm going to make a Pyromancer. It's called Habanero, which is a deck that I, I sort of hypothesized. You'll see what it does now, because um, I'm going to pay two life to peek you. Oh, all right. This boy. So every single card in my deck apparently only costs one mana, because uh, you're going to see an Unholy Heat, a Path to Exile, an Enlightened Tutor, and a Mother of Ruins. Good God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Passe? Yeah. All right. Uh, upkeep before draw step. I'd like to use my Enlightened Tutor. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go get the old Ready Moxie. Ready Moxie. Oh, yeah. 
It already mocks. It's always very, very... Oh, right, I'm supposed to draw a card off of Probe. Oh, right. That's fine. Wait, do I have a Reddy Moxie? What if I only have a Greeny Moxie? <gasps> oh, I might have Whitey, Greeny Moxie, no Reddy Moxie. <gasps> what do I do? I don't have enough lands. No. Oh, God, I don't have a Reddy Moxie. No. Uh, I've made a mistake. Uh, I'm gonna get the whitey moxie. Are you, are you on, you're on Pearl Emerald, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish explaining this deck. Uh, this is basically like red green miracle grow, which okay. might not be good, but there's a bunch of new cards. You got young peasy. I like it. Yeah, I got peasy. I cycled the Git probe. I might have some other one drops in here. Who knows? Yeah. What are people's points in this? Uh, my points are white mox, green mox. Yeah. I think mine are red mox, green mox, and maybe price of progress. Oh. I don't remember if I'm uh, playing that. I've got Stoneforge. I don't even know if Stoneforge is still pointed. Well, here, we'll, we'll get, we'll do the introduction there. Sorry, so my full points are white mox, green mox, fourth aerolingus, strip mine. <laughs> Sorry, what? Fourth aerolingus. Never made it past the third myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, strip mine and Umezawa's Jite is the full point spread. Oh man, if I get to play fourth Aeolingus, you're in for an unpleasant surprise, Alex. <laughs> All right, so Mox at the top, draw for the turn, play the Mox, I need a red source. I'm actually gonna exile your Wasteland no. to uh, Unholy Heat shooting. So it's just two? Uh, it is two damage, correct. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna pay a white mana to cast a Mother of Runes. God, I hate Mother of Runes. Uh, and then I'm going to pass to you one card in hand, which is the Path to Exile. Okay. Do you not know mm -hmm. about a fourth Aerolingus? I'm not saying anything lewd, Alex! But we do call it fourth kind of lingus. <laughs> it's from Lord I of the I know Rings. what it is, Serge! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't pick up on subtlety, my man. Yeah, um... I just assume everyone's being sincere. Oh, this is... Oh... Actually, wait a second. No, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, so first... I'll take a pain. Yeah. Uh, we'll play Dragon's Guard. Two mana, two, two, Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay, a big. Critters I control gain trample. Oh, May I have it die. okay. So I'll draw a card. Interesting. Does it have trample? <laughs> now it does. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what, how much toughness is that? <laughs> that's a 2-3, that's a 1-1. One, one. Very good. Yes, it, it does now. I didn't know if it, but the base card. Let's go! I'm sorry. What? Oh my god, you're furying. Yeah, this So 3 and 1? Oofa. Whoa! Oofa doofa, man. Okay. Alex is not. Boosh. Yeah, uh, I take one. Taking the birthday was, piece pretty seriously I was here. Uh, that's okay. That doesn't count as a. Oh no! Wait a minute. Does it cast? No, that's it, you're you're evoking a invoke. creature. Yeah. Well, hang on a second. That means you're still casting a creature spell though. So whenever I cast, oh, it's a it's yeah. sorry, sorry. I thought it yeah. might be just like red spell. But... I'm going to draw this card uh, and pass. Okie dokie. Mm, mm, mm. This card's still in modern, isn't bonk, it? Bonk. No. Jeez. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Minsk is not happy with what's been going on. Hey, look, we're finding Alex's pointed cards. <laughs> I don't know. No, Minsk and Boo isn't even points. They're not yet? Oh, no. man. Uh, so that's at four? Yeah. Uh, I, heard, I heard this card's good. I don't actually know if I've cast it before. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I am... Eight? Going to path. You're three, three. Okay. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, and go to 14. Okay. Man, Alex is not messing around with the birthday beats here. Holy You're moly. Up. Pardon me? You're up. Untap. Draw for the turn. You are not long for this world, Burr the Paradise. <laughs> I'm going to try and give it the Shadow Spear. Okie dokie. Pass. Colorless red. Ah, card reader. Ah, yes. The lightning uh -huh. strike. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> this card's stupid. It's you also just, get the plus one for why that. Why is it plus? Uh, I take eight. I go to six. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Um, I will also play a land. I'll play this as a red. All right. 
That's untapped. Oh, right. All right, who's next? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Pretty decent for a Yeah, first not time. bad. Not bad. Holy moly. Just nonstop hateful. I love it. That was beautiful, so, Alex. I just want you to know that I peeled that fury off the, the can trip. I don't know if that makes me feel any better. I don't think it does. <laughs> you top deck that? I just peeled it, man. <laughs> and then he top decked into a fury. <laughs> Natty furies. All right, the next challenger is Ben Ben. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. I'm very glad you're back. I Me mean too, mm -hmm. I think. I might have to move back to Alberta after this beating. Is that what happens? I mean, don't we'll worry. the Berta beats. That just means if you if you beat me, that means I let you in because I wanted you to stay. Oh, shucks. All right. Work? That's fair. That's fair. All right. While we are shuffling and stuff, why don't you introduce your deck and your points? Uh, yeah. So I am playing a, a goofy little Rakdos list. Hell yeah. Uh, that's like, it's 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 a it's a stompy brew that is also sort of reanimator. Okay. But not really. I'm not I'm not reanimating Grizzle Brand. You got like fair reanimator. Uh, yeah, I'm rean like like I said the the I think the biggest thing I've got is like I could do like a flesh gorger, but that's about that's about it. I'm just kind of. I, I I think one of the most expensive things that I've got in there that I want to hit is like Anathiomancer. Sick. That's like the shards of Alara. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> price of progress creature. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. ETBs domes both players equal to the number of unbasic lands. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Rakdos ran a mid range. Sure. Yeah, I like <laughs> yeah, that. Mid -range. That's a great way of putting it. Uh, so my points are Mox Mox, um, Mox Mox, Demonic Tutor, uh, Mana Vault. I believe for ten. I think that's ten. So yes. Demonic Tutor is oh, whatever. Close I it think up. so. You want a high roll? Yeah. And Demonic Tutor's three? I got a six. You got I got a, a two. He got Snake Eyes. All right, good start. Yeah. Good start for Jaeger. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually a list that I saw from a Portland Open um, <clears throat> that uh, I, I changed a little bit, um, kind of to make my life a little bit easier. Uh, its other point was actually uh, Tainted Pact. And you're like, nope. <laughs> Yeah, there's some cards that are just too too five head for me. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, yeah. So I swapped it out for a mana vault. I probably actually could have had it be a Jitte in this deck, and I think it would have been fine. Sure. But like, yeah. It is very good in the creature matchups. Yeah. So this, uh, I think we're just gonna run our creatures into one another. Sick. Mm -hmm. I just took my Mardu. It's it got a lot of stuff from my Mardu initiative list, but like, so now we're just cutting white for funsies. So. <sighs> Let's, Let's see you, bud. That's a good face. Is that a good face for a guy on the draw? The face, okay. What emotion are you getting from this chat? Oh, I want to keep this so bad. It's best of one. <laughs> it is. <clears throat> I had a mox last game and Alex ran over me. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to keep it. Hell this yeah. This is an incredibly bad decision. Well, I'm go. on the draw. All right. I'm going to go besage you. Yep. I'm going to go mox. Uh, can I mulligan now? <laughs> Giver of runes. Whoa, I wish I mulligan now. <laughs> Go to you. Alrighty. She's giving rune. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. Uh, Marsh Flats, I'm gonna go get a ready blackie. Mm. Uh, and we'll play the monkey. The go. monkey! <sighs> Stupid monkey. Stupid monkey. You cool if I start Yeah, 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 rock it. Love it. Draw. All right, I'm gonna play a strip mine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay three mana, and I'm going to introduce the initiative. Gross. Uh, and we're going to go get a second white source. We're going to get a basic planes here. And put this it into my the, hand. This is the start that you wanted against Alex. Well, considering he went, I don't know, man. Like he went. He wastelanded you. He wastelanded and then pretty, killed my, yeah, yeah, killed yeah, yeah. my elf. So I don't even. I don't even know if it was about my start. I think it was all about his finish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah what man. happens when you yeah. talk about Aerolinkus. <laughs> All right, and you've got the you got the giver of runes. Okay, I am not long for this world. All right, uh, give him a second. Let here me. You, go. you are good to go there. Let me get some tokens out here to represent what we're looking at. Uh, the Undercity has been introduced. 
Passe. We had a Chiba there for a brief second. Both players were shuffling. Mm-hmm. Well. <clears throat> I will play this mock. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, don't have a land for the turn. But here, oh, actually, here's what we're going to do. Yes, actually, this is dope. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap for two. I'm going to terminate White Plume. I'm going to give White... Yep. I'd like to target White Plume to give it protection from... In stuff. response to that, I'm going to Pyrokinesis. <gasps> uh, yeah! I think I was supposed okay. to do it in the other direction, but that's fine, and I'll uh, exile... I'll get rid of Robert. Sure, Rich. okay. My Giver of Runes is tapped. It's got one damage marked on it, too, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Not that it matters. All right. Uh, okay. Whew. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. You get, you get to search your... All right, so first off, mm -hmm. you reveal an Abraid. Oh, that's a good one. You I get to search... Oh, yes, you can, because you get to tutor for oh, basic land card. You took this turn initiative. was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> what a turn! All right. Because you get Thank to go God. find a basic land, which yeah. you haven't played yet. Yeah. And then if you wanted to, you could I kill... I could abrade your mother. My giver runes, you could shoot my mocks. You, the world is... You're oyster, man, my man. What do I do in Magical <laughs> Christmas Land? It's so nice this time of year. Okay, I'm gonna grab a swamp, um, and <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what. What would you, I think it's probably Giver of Runes, right? Like, so it can't protect itself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not Mother of Runes, which makes it less scary, but yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. Okay. So we'll I'll crack the treasure and the swamp that I yeah. am going to be playing. Um, right, sorry, this should all be done post-combat, because I hit you. So I take two. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm grabbing the thing, now I'm playing this swamp that I'm grabbing, and then I'm passing to you. All right, Ben is also in the in the first page. And I'm feeling just fine. Right, <laughs> the other thing is, the other thing there is, in killing my giver runes, I can't attack you to take back the initiative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that's another point for that over this, because um, otherwise you're I tapped out, and I can just take it back. Yeah. So... Okay. Mandy's birthday beats, y'all. Yeah, there we go. You specifically requested this. <laughs> I'm here too. Not like this, Alex. <laughs> Not like this. All right, I'm gonna ask you to cut me. Sure. All right, three mana. I'd like to cast a Skyclave Apparition. Goodbye, monkey. Get out of here, monkey. So it's gonna be exiled either way. Yep. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-land token, and then when it leaves, you get a 1-1 one -one mm -hmm. back. Uh, and then I'm also going to hatefully try and strip your land. You got it. Pass to you. Now you do get to untap with the initiative. Oh right, that's true. Uh, I I really want to dome you, but I guess I will. I'll go to the lost well and I'll scry two. Scry two. I think I put the initiative token in that pile. Is there another one as well? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like you knew. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> initiative in this uh, eternal format. I'll face it this way, so hopefully Chad can see where we at. I'm the Y die, white die. Ben, oh, Ben is the right one. He's a Y guy. <laughs> Pretty fly uh, for a white yeah, guy. Yeah, so I, this doesn't really matter. I'll grab this, and then I'll pop this on the bottom. Draw for the turn. Yep. I will play this Scalding Karn. <clears throat> yeah. popped up on top. Um, well. The double removal spell on the White Plume Adventurer. The uh, the pyrokinesis. I think I've cast that ones of times, so <laughs> I was not prepared for it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and crack this for something that'll come in untapped. It's probably gonna have to be my blood crypt. Yeah, we'll just grab a blood crypt. Um, I'm gonna gra grab a blood crypt, uh, and I will play this Sedgemore Witch. Okay. Untappity. <clears throat> That's a three mana three two with ward pay three life and magecraft yes and menace and Menace. notably <laughs> all right uh, yeah and then that'll be a go for you pal untap draw for the turn land for the turn uh, I would like to uh, pay two mana and I will cast the fateful absence targeting the Sedgemore Witch to mm -hmm. destroy it. Ward, I'll take three damage. Okay. Uh, and then you will get to investigate. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you a clue token. Ooh. 
Thank you. Boop. I will attack you to seize back the initiative. Mm -hmm. And I will go on the dome you side. So yeah. I'll go this way and I'll put two plus one plus one counters onto the Skyclave apparition, please and thank you. Boink. And then I will pass a Biblioteca. Stop passing me your library. It's your library. Well, how would you like me to pass the turn that I don't understand? <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to not be able to come back and grab my stuff, unfortunately. Mm. But that's okay. I'll play this Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah. Uh, and then I will play a Clampy. Mm. And I will... Actually, how many... Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Mm. Go for it. End of turn, I would like to Jesus. exile it. So you gain one life. The oops all removal hand over there. All right, go for it. Uh, so you go to 17. I'm going to go to 14. I'm also going to crack this and get a tapped ready greeny. Stomping Good. ground. Mm -hmm. I played three kill spells on turn two. I think I played two. Yeah. We've both been equally hateful. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to cut? Uh, no, you got it. Doink. All right, untap. Untap. Oh, right. I abraded. I used your abrade. <laughs> you were absolutely correct. Yeah. All right. So I untap with the initiative. I would like to dome you for five. I'm at 12. And I would like to draw for the uh, turn. Sorry, yes. Uh, some uh, some uh, chat denizen called Coach Nelly uh, says <laughs> that you, you're supposed to be at 15 rather than 17. I think you took, there's an extra D damage or something. Sure. So, right, so you're at 10, 10 now. Yep. Forest. I'd like to hit you for four. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd like to cast an Under Mountain Adventurer. Mm -hmm. uh, take the initiative, go one step further down to draw a card. Yep. Deathly wow. Chapman. Can you stop for, for a moment <laughs> drawing good cards? <laughs> All killer, no filler. Yep. Pass, we'll see. It was just slightly not enough. Well, oh, did you got you got something? Kind of, but not really. So, what is on this side? Yeah, it's like it's neat, but it's not like. So I got a broadside bombardier. Oh, it's so good. Right. So I can go to combat. Yeah. And go like this. Attack. Uh, I can sack an artifact and it deals two plus its CMC. So shoot that, it's got Menace. You steal the, steal initiative, the initiative back. Yeah. I mean, that's a sick turn. It I is, take two. yeah. Um, what step do you, what step do you do on the initiative there? Well, I have to just go down. Okay. Or I could go, I could goad you. I goad this. Okay. It's got to attack <laughs> me on the next turn. And then uh -huh. I scoop it up. Because you go. <laughs> GG. Woo! That was sick. Maybe we should use smaller counters for the initiative. <laughs> What do we got? Uh, there's like so many things over there. Oh, there's little beads. There's little glass beadies. There's all, all kind right. of stuff. I mean, I mean, all right, Serge has got a. We should. Uh, you should put a muffin on each side. Oh, the oh, muffin and counter. The muffin just keeps going. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. Uh, it's it's by it's by side rather than actually by player. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, we're collectively a okay. unit. I like it. All right, I got some beads now, Paul. Excellent suggestion. He's all right. Now yeah. that he's warmed up. I'm... Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. We'll Welcome just leave back, that there. Serge. Thank you. Are you ready to play the most mid deck from 2016 imaginable? <laughs> I look forward to it. Uh, real quickly, what are you on? What did you bring? What are your uh, points? I'm, I'm on Aristocrats, four color Aristocrats. Love it. Brood. Um, my points are. Is Stoneforge still pointing? No, it's free. I have no points. I'm zero points. <laughs> Can't afford no points. No point Aristocrat. Unless, I love unless to see Skull it. Clamp? No. Uh, no do I have any good cards in here? Uh oh. Someone look at my deck list and tell me if I have any good cards. Well, that's here. that's the thing, Cameron. Aristocrats plays no good cards. It's true. It's <laughs> and yet true. it still kills people. It it wants to take six cards, six bad cards, uh -huh. cram them into one good effect, and then swing for four. <laughs> oh man, I sometimes miss 2016 magic. Yeah, man. I wonder you what happened fine. in 2016. <laughs> Roll two d6. Let's see what happens here. Uh, you have rolled nine. nine. I have rolled 
Six. All right, I'll play. Let's see it. So, didn't you used to call your deck the Cleveland Browns? Yeah, but then the Cleveland Browns started winning. So. <laughs> Then I went with the Quebec Nordiques and found out that they too no uh, longer exist. Yeah, well, that uh, the uh, I will be mulling. I will be mulling as well. Ooh. So, gentlemen's agreement: we want to. We're playing fast games. We're just gonna never go below six. We'll mull, and then just keep sixes. Yeah. How do you okay. feel about that? Yeah. Even if it's six land. Sure. You don't have to keep the six. <laughs> The goal here is to uh, to showcase good games. Yeah, yeah, we, we're all just like, there's nothing on the line. We just kind of want to jam some magic, the gathering. Mm. I do like the idea that the name of the deck has to change every year. Yeah, to the worst football, football team. team. The, the, stats. the worst hockey team. Yeah, you're like, uh, congratulations, I'm now. The uh, Vancouver Canucks for the 17th year running. <laughs> They're actually really good this year. Which sucks. Extremely loud swear word. Yeah. Uh, who's the worst team right now? The Chicago. The, the Chicago Blackhawks. Really? Yeah. Man, Chicago used to be the d real deal. Yeah, they got this They got this phenom of a kid who's doing really good, but the team overall just kind of honks. No. Oh. Uh, I can keep this hand. Why doesn't you just carry? <laughs> I'll just do this at the bottom. He is, but you can only carry so much. Oh, San Jose even worse? All right. The Sharks? Yeah. Wow. Don't they have Paul Carita? I think you're also still thinking of 2016. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, One of the weird things about being in Alberta is I watched a lot of hockey. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, all right. I can keep this. Well, you can grab a seventh and then bin bottom one. <gasps> the new mulligan. <gasps> Magic has changed. <laughs> what do I even throw away? These are all good cards, including the seventh. I would have just kept this. I could have drawn this, Serge, but you ruined I'm my you ruined my play. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, okay. We'll put the, the one I drew back on bottom. All right, let's do it, my friend. Okay, GG. GG, uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> flooded Strand, I'm going to go find a whitey blackie. Ooh, strong start. Um, How hateful is turn one going to be? Everyone has been mean to me turn one. We'll just try to I mean, continue. <clears throat> uh, I could have been meaner, I suppose. Hunted witness. Oh, right. Look at him. He's just... Just a little guy. All right. Yep. I recently re-sleeved, so my... A flooded strand, he's matching me play for play. I'm going to do a little bit of a shortcut here. Okay. I'm going to get a whitey ready. And then I'm also going to grab... <clears throat> what do I want to grab against oh, you? Oh, my God. Oh, no. The new sleeve hazard. Yeah. What's good against aristocrats? GJ is terrible mm -hmm. because you just sack the creature before I get to connect. Skull clamp. I'll get a skull clamp. Uh, what is a sad Chicago noise? <laughs> I believe that would be Obama's no red states, no blue yeah. states speech in 2024. That's, that would be a sad noise. I thought Not it was a, a hot dog game. hitting the <laughs> A hot dog hitting the, the pavement. Embercleave. Yeah, I'll get Embercleave. Okay, well, at least that's not going to be a problem for a few more turns. Pass. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. By you. By who? By you. Oh, wait, that's rude. Um, <laughs> Blardist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul a... Blardist. Paul Blardist. <laughs> Big Swing fan. for one. Uh, 18. Got him on the ropes. Go. Draw for the turn. I'm going to play Windswept Heap. Heap. <laughs> heap. Windswept Heap. Uh, grab a greeny whitey. Mm hmm. Uh, cut right to it, but the Rav Duel. There we go. A Savannah. A Savannah where the Achachas grow. I'm going to shuffle in just a second here. I'm actually going to cast I believe you. a Ren and Six. Well. <laughs> and I'm going to minus one Ren and Six to do one damage to the Blood Artist. You fool. <clears throat> You'll take one damage from that. <laughs> And Passe and the Biblioteca. Okay. 
Do you know that when we did the set review for Modern Horizons, mm -hmm. I had to evaluate Ren and Six, and I was like, ah, it doesn't do much. Yeah, I mean, accurate, I guess. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't know, one card, it returns a land, I don't know, it only returns one per turn. It is the, historically, the worst mm -hmm. read I've ever had a card <laughs> in my entire life uh, pass. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll hit Ren and Six. Ren down to one. Then I will Plains <clears throat> Stoneforge. Yeah. Go looking and find. Um. Something that is in the bottom half of my library. We're gonna find Skull Clamp. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> and we'll say go. Or we'll we'll cast it. Yes. Alright, untap. Draw for the turn. I'm going to plus one Ren and Six to return target land from my graveyard to my hand. Mm -hmm. It is going to be this windswept teeth, which I'm immediately going to play and crack down to 16 and get a greeny ready. Okay. Man, could you imagine if that had been a wasteland a strip mine? Couldn't be me. You ever have one of those moments where afterwards you realized how big of a misplay you made? Oh no. Well, you know what? Because what I should have done was I should have killed. I should have targeted the kill spell at first kill spell I had at your giver of runes. Oh, then it just dies. Then it and just then dies. Three and then kill I spell for the other one. And then, oh and then I get the abrade and I abrade your box. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> afterwards, I was like. Uh, <laughs> oh man! I oh. actually I thought that Giver of Runes could protect itself was my was the thing. So Giver of Runes can do protection from artifacts but not target itself. Mother of Runes can protect itself but not do artifacts. So yeah. they're like yeah, slightly yeah. Fair though, man. Jeez. Yeah. Woo. You're good. I would like to cast three mana Thalia. Okay. Uh, creatures and non basic lands your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Okay. Pass. That'd have been terrifying, Ben Ben. Yeah. She's a 3 2 first strike, huh? Yeah. Brutal. Okay. Uh, well, this Windswept <clears throat> Heath enters tapped. Mm. Um, Already getting down. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Brain, we can do this. We can do this, um, buddy. If you have a kill spell, <laughs> yeah. Blood gas. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Clamp the ghast, draw two. Oof, uh, yep. Uh, He's gaming. Badlands enters tapped, returns blood ghast. Oh, which is tapped for whatever it's worth. Can't, yeah. We can't block, can't attack, but still. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. W E L P. Uh, go. Untippity, untappity. <clears throat> Sun Baked Canyon. I may as well uh, plus one Ren and Six to return the Windswept Heath to my hand again. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pay four mana and lose a life to the Sun Baked Canyon mm -hmm. to cast a Seasoned Dungeoneer. All right. I would like to introduce the initiative. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. And I'm going to go fetch a basic land, which is going to be a basic Montagna. Eh. So at some point I have to try and reduce Cameron's life total to zero. <clears throat> and I don't quite know how to do that yet. So I can attack with the Seasoned Dungeoneer. When I attack... Uh, attacking target cleric rogue or warrior. Oh, I thought it was. So it's a human soldier. I thought it's it wombo comboed with seasoned engineer, but it's the wrong creature type, so it doesn't oh. get to explore. Well, that's fine. Uh, in which case, do I attack right now? I mean, taking your bodies off the board so you get less clamp triggers seems fine. Uh, having two blockers, so you have to fight more through to get the initiative, also seems fine. Uh, I'll just pass. Okay. 
draw a card for the turn, as is my right. I will... <coughs> mm. Um... Well, I mean, that is kind of compelling. Goblin B. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, the lines, they mystify me. They're everywhere. Like, I feel I should probably try to swing out at Ren and Six and put one damage on her, then sack the two things you block. I mean, the other option is, have you, have you experienced the initiative before? I mean, the thing is, I swing out, sack things, you swing back, get the initiative anyway. But you do get a basic land. I do get a basic land which does not enter the battlefield tab? Correct. That is compelling. Um, so, something to think about. Like, yes, I don't know, yeah, yeah. I don't no, know if that's more valuable is. to you than, than marking damage on, on um, Ryan 6 or not. <clears throat> you know what? Let's clamp Mystic mm. and swing at Serge Jaeger. Serge Jaeger, but that's me. I will block, uh, maybe I don't block Stoneforge in that case. I'll block uh, first strike on Bloodgast and then a regular strike on the 1-1. One, one. I will feed them both <clears throat> to Goblin Bombardment to shoot Thalia. Yeah, sick. So um, Thalia's dead. I'm going to take two damage here. And <clears throat> I get a white soldier token with lifelink. Yeah. So... Then I tutor up a basic? Yes, and you put it into your hand. Okay. Mm. Sorry, this game is taking way longer than everyone else. No, we got game. ourselves a very interesting game now. I like it. Let us hope. Um, and you know what? I do like the... Forced <laughs> is fine. I brought the Aristocrats deck. How could this board have gotten clogged? <laughs> yep, yeah. No one could it's have seen mystery. this coming. No one could have seen this coming. Nobody in the history... Um, so I find a forest. Yes. I would like to offer the cut. You're fine. Then All I right. will... So you are also on the first floor. I'll mark you with green. Much appreciated. I'll put this windswept heath into play. Yep. Returning blood gas to the battlefield. Yep. I will clamp blood gas. Yep. It dies. I draw two. Yeesh! <clears throat> I would like to crack this windswept heath. I'm going to go and look for a... Can't find planes, can't find forest. Uh, I'll try to find a greeny or whitey. Imagine if this deck had good cards, Cameron. I know. <laughs> the temptation. I'll find this uh, taiga. Mm, the old ready greeny. The old ready greeny. Um, which returns blood gas. Sure does. Which is a creature. Sure is. Um, do I want to equip Skull Clamp again to draw two more cards? Or am I satisfied with what I've wrought so far? Cards in hand? Uh, Ooh. five. Two the more cards? are supposed to be tapped. I don't, uh, Thalia's dead. So I was wondering about the timing on that as well, and I don't know if the token is tapped or untapped because... Okay. Nelson is saying it's tapped. If Nelson is it's saying tapped. it's tapped, then it's probably okay. tapped. Yeah, because there's the weird timing of you... Yeah, you sacrifice it to put the ability on the stack, but then right. the, the token... So, yes, so there's no, there's no... I was wondering if there was an ordering where it could have been untapped, and I didn't think it was enough of a deal to bring up. But thank you, Nelly. Nice catch. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Okay, well, let's clamp again. <laughs> okay. Mm, tasty. Okay. Uh, go. Do you, do you have to go to cleanup? No, I have seven in hand. <laughs> Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, I will play the basic mountain that you know about. 
Mm-hmm. I will use Renin 6 to shoot the 1-1. One, one. Okay. I cast the big questing oh. beast. Right. Uh, vigilance, Death Touch, Haste, beep, beep. I'd like to hit you for four. I get four. Upon hitting you, I re-seize the initiative, and I will go down on the left side to put two plus one plus one counters on any creature I control. I choose Questing Beast. Okay. I pass to you. I untap. I draw yet another card. (laughs) I would like to put this forest into play, regrowing my blood gas. Yes. I would like to... Hmm. Hmm. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, you say. Um, just looking through my somewhat limited resources here. Um, yeah, that works. Uh, red, black, something. Judy. Hold on. And response. So that's whenever you sacrifice something, right? Uh, no, whenever a non-token creature I control dies... Judith, the Scourge Diva, deals one damage to any target. That's a 2-2? Two, two? Uh, yes, she is a 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to, and I know this isn't great, I'm going to pay one life. I'm going to try and swords your that blood would be gas. A path. I'm going to try and path <laughs> your blood gas. Uh, I will uh. goblin bombardment. Uh, I'll ping Ren. Yep. Um... And then something died. Well, so, no, no, that's what they did on the stack. Oh, right, what yeah. they did on the stack. Yeah, that was, that was the reason. They're on the stack. The sequencing. All right, Grist the Hunger Tide. <laughs> Let's go, buddy! Um, oh, my God. We minus two Grist. Yeah. Uh, Stoneforge goes away. Uh-huh. Um, what else goes away? Questing Beast. So does that count Sacrifice as one a creature or two? when you do destroy target creature or Planeswalker. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, so... This is a non, non-token creature I control dies. Yeah. So this is one ping from Judith. Yeah. Uh, which will... These are... Okay. One ping from Judith will kill Ren and Six. Yes. Um, I have no one who can swing. Shame. Kind of a nothing turn. Uh, go! <laughs> All right, untap with the initiative. I will go to the trap. I will dome you for five. I've been thoroughly domed. Go to 11. I'll draw for the turn. I will attack you with one creature. Judith is like... <laughs> Great. Five oh, mana. Oh, Embercleave. Um, well, it gives a trample. Yeah. Embercleave is what? Double strike plus a million plus a million? Uh, double strike, uh, trample, plus one, plus one. So I would hit you for eight. Eight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. If you have Lightning Bolt... <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're going to take eight eight damage. Go to three. Um, does Judith hit any target or no? Any target. Okay. I'm going to go to 11, and I'm going to cast an Aether Vial. Okay. And then I'm going to pass. Sounds okay. good. Um... You're tapped out? I'm tapped out. I'm shields down. I have no creatures. I'm at Chad, 11. does he have gut shot in this list? <laughs> what has he got? Um, Is it an Olivia? No. The 4-1 with haste? Uh, no, no, not quite. Um, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Chat, does this work? Go back does home. This work? Oh. 
Woo! <laughs> Alex, you're back. I am right. dead. You uh, do you want to take a commercial break, or you want to just keep rocking? How we doing all the time there? Uh, do we you might want to take a one nap? more. <laughs> I mean, I I am going to sleep. <laughs> that was beautiful, Cameron. Nice game. Happy oh birthday, buddy! Oh my God, the birthday beats. Though, Cam, your phone. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Also right. a crime. Yeah, slam jam. Yeah, one, to... one and then a break. Y'all cool with that? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> you want to get it again? Holy moly. You're getting sent back to the Alberta. Right I now. am. You know yeah. what? This is what I signed up for. I am so happy right now. <laughs> Man! I thought I was in a good spot there. You know what the worst part is? He could sack it yep. to his goblin bombardment. He could shoot me with both it and Judith and the bug. Like, oh my god. Serge, you were in a great spot. Yeah. That's why Cameron's spot was so good at <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were in a great spot, actually. Thank you. <laughs> what a shame. So like just like you know, you're leaning over my broken body, and yeah. I'm just like, hold this. And it's <laughs> like a pin from a grenade. Yeah. Yeah, catch. That's good? Yeah, oh yeah. It's okay, this is the redemption arc now, right? What yeah, the, the uh, hell? The lulling your opponent into a false sense of security part. Uh, you, can, you can stop doing that now, sir. Just go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna high roll, I got an eight. You got less than an eight. All right, well, they're not looking. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Just, just, between, just between you and me. Pretty happy. I think I see, <laughs> what a blur. <laughs> Oh, I think I see my, my fortunes turning around here. Yeah, Regavan's pretty good. Damn it, man! <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a secret. You're playing red and you just showed off a card. Yeah. Like, what is... <laughs> it's not going to be lightning bolts. Or... <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. It's got to be something playable. Are you good? Yeah. Turn one. Surprising apps. Nobody saw it coming. Wow. You, I do, I do gotta say it doesn't have flash, but still, you do have Don't. the answer. <laughs> Pass. I, I thought that was gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Does it, it doesn't have haste, does it? No. Uh, so I got this monkey. Isn't it good to be well, Surge? Yeah. Ragavan doesn't have haste. No. <laughs> you can dash it. Oh. Monkey house. Okay. Hey, look how happy my monkey is. <sighs> Maybe I don't want to blow it up now. <laughs> I probably do, but. Ben, ben off camera's going, yeah, you do. I mean, what is this stupid thing doing? So I, I get to make a treasure token, I get to exile the top card of your deck, and I get to play it. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> get out of here. All right, my hand is worse without a monkey. Oh, right, you would have, like, kept a mono monkey. Uh, I will play an Aired Mesa, and I will pass the turn. Yeah, we're going to get Regavan 2 in the new Modern Horizons. God, I hope so. What no, do you want? What do no. You want, what do you want Regavan's sequel to do? Uh, it has uh, Menace, too. Oh, yeah. Exact same card, but with Menace. Yeah. <laughs> Makes two treasures for no good reason. Uh, end step, I'm going to get a, a whitey, greeny tappy. You know what I mean? I really don't. What? That's true. It's exactly the same, but has a different name, which means in modern, you could run eight yeah. monkeys. Oh, my God. That's too many monkeys. Wasn't that a movie? Eight monkeys. Wasn't it? I mean, they're probably going to call it Barrel of Monkeys. Whitey, greeny, chappy. I'm not playing a Triumph in this deck, and maybe I'm supposed to be playing the Triumph in this deck. You're a Triumph. You're really not? I'm not, yeah. Oh. Huh. What'd you do that for, dude? I don't know. Skill diff. <laughs> Untap. Draw. I mean, Cameron's playing with zero points, so, yeah. you know, we're all doing our own. <laughs> Suboptimal. Uh, I'm going to play the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This card's real good. And uh, I'm going to play, I'm going to use this goblin to represent the 2-2 two -two goblin token. Okay. Uh, 
pass to you. I don't like that thing. Oh, it has been besaged. So I'm gonna go get a basic land. Is that a one one or a two two? That is a two two. Okay. Sorry, what is the wording on besaged? Uh, land with a basic land type. Oh, land with a basic land type. Man, sure would be great if I had a trio in this oh, deck. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, never mind. It has a this has a discount clause if I control Legends, a um, yeah. legend. All right, I'm gonna get the red yeah. and greeny tappy. Okay. We have the goblin shaman token, but Nelson stole it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a two-two goblin shaman creature token with whenever it attacks, create a treasure token. Okay. So pass. Yeah, hmm. Nelly says not sorry. You should be. That token was the pride of our collection. I was so happy. I constantly talked about how we had it. That token is worth more than a Tarmogoyf, Nelly. I don't remember what's in my deck. Green Sun for two. Yeah. My guess. I mean, you had that two-two growth threat. Yeah. Nelson was supposed to be on tonight, bringing that token, but now he's <laughs> mysteriously sick. Oh. Me me me. My name is Nelson. Me 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 you know what I just realized, lads? What's that? This card, Fury, might uh -huh. go in Aristocrats. <laughs> oh, yeah? You don't say. Well, it dies, don't, don't it? I mean, that's all of the elemental indications. You're in four colors. You could be playing four of them, Cam. But Fury's the good one, right? Yep. They're, they're, solid, all, they're, they're all, all pretty good. Cracked. Okay, yeah. Solitude is Swords of Plowshare, sta staple to oh, a 3-2 right. with lifelink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Endurance. You oh, can going. shuffle somebody's graveyard. Classic land creature enchantment. Guess what I brought. I love that you have that dice. <laughs> All right. I bought this from Kentaro. Yeah. Untippity. Unscroppity. Thinking on my upkeep if I want to do anything. Thinking on my upkeep if I want to do anything. Tarma goose. Tarma ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Tarma he, tarma hoo, tarma ha, tarma ha ha. It's a three four. Yeah. Hello, hello. No, I just draw. Yeah. Oh, that was a good draw. It's a bad bake though. All right, uh, white and two different colors. Wait. Mm -hmm. Hold on. White and one. So if I tap a white and a green, yeah. no, and a red, this is important. Hey, you got Naya. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to cast a prismatic ending. Oh, that thing. So I need X to be two, right? Exile target non-land permanent. If its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors spent to cast this. No. No, I want it to be two colors. You literally just need to pay white and one other color. Just white and one? Yeah. Thank you. The, it, all right, I exile that. No. Attack you for two. Ouch. Attack trigger, make a treasure token. From what? Uh, <laughs> the two two, that's what it does. It's a two two and whenever it attacks, oh. it makes a treasure token. That's why Fable of Mirror Breaker is also still so good. It's not your fault. The token okay. doesn't say it on it. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna crack this. Curious. Man, if only Nelson hadn't stolen our token. I'm gonna get a greeny whitey and I'm also going to cast an enlightened tutor. Yes, sir. Uh... Both at the same time. Um, so I'm going to put uh, the one ring on top of my deck. Ew. And I'm going to get the green white land and then pass to you. <laughs> it's gonna be tapped. <laughs> It also says, ha, 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 be mad. Hmm. <laughs> Can't we, believe we uh, fired we Nelson. Yeah. this Coach Nelly <laughs> guy? They're pretty, uh, pretty toxic. You good. Monkey beats. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I get hit for three, I'm down to 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the 
Heck. That was a dirty token. All right, I'm at 15. Okay. Oh, sorry, it wasn't a token, it was my sleeve, but still. All right, untap, untap. I draw the one ring. Okay. I play a land. I pay four mana. Yeah. I cast the one ring. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, I uh, gain protection from everything until end of turn. I'm going to tap it to put one counter on it to draw and okay. a card. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to attack you I for two. I have an effect on your attack step. Okay. I'm gonna wild slash. So before thing. I get to attack, yeah. it dies, so I don't get the. No treasure for you. I get no treasure. That's fair. Uh, I. That? Alex's cards aren't quite making it onto the card where you have to keep them flat. There you go. Uh, I pass the turn. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, faceless. All right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that you had cards in hand, so I thought you were just like, neat, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm thinking about what I'm pitching here. Um, Carplusen Forest and Punishing Fire. Cool. While you're doing that, I'm also just going to grab a I'm green black land. I'm also going to make bigger monkeys. Bigger monkey. Um, this monkey house is out of control. Okay, let's go one. I'm going to buy you. Two, three, four, five. I mean, your goif, your goif is gone, so you don't really matter, yeah. right? Love it. So you got Punishing Fire, and I'm guessing uh, Faithless? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, not enough mana to activate Monkey House. We'll have protection from anything, everything anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right, untap. Untap. Ring ding domes me for one. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. ding, 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 ding. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tap this and I'm gonna draw two cards. Okay. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Um, I've got a clifftop retreat. Nothing like the eight million mana Arbor Elf. Yeah. And then I have one land. Sorcery. Pass. Okay. You have none cards in hand? I have one card now. Okay. Toot. <clears throat> uh, I would like to cast Unholy Heat, targeting your biggest monkey. Uh, I have four more different card types okay. and types, so That'd be... six damage. The biggest monkey. Now, biggest in power or reputation? That one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I go to ten. I had to go for it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, because I had uh, instant sorcery enchantment creature land, just for the chat's benefit. Mm -hmm. All right, untap, 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 lose two, draw for the turn. Tap, draw three, please. Ooh, there we go. We're online. Three mana. Mm -hmm. I'd like to cast a professional face breaker. Okay. Uh, one, two, I'd like to cast a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. I'm going to get an Ember Cleave. That's a big one. Ember Cleave can't possibly kill me two games in a row. <laughs> okay. Weirdly, I don't own one of these. Ember Cleave? Yep. Oh, it's fun. Three mana, I'd like to cast a Savine's Reclamation targeting the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yikes. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is going to enter the battlefield. It's going to make me a 2-2 two -two goblin creature token that makes a treasure token whenever it taps and attacks. Okay. Tough but fair. I'd like to pass. Hmm. Cast this endurance. Ooh. Um, Me? And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna flush your bin. So it all gets shuffled onto the bottom of my library, is yes, that correct? In a random order. Okay. Card reader. Dang it. All right. 
Okay. You're at 17. Yes. Can I kill Alex before I die to my own one ring? I mean, that's this is kind of the plan. I'm at five. I'm on, like, don't die, peel a burn spell. <laughs> you do uh, have an ember cleave, though. This goes to two. I will pitch two. I'm going to pitch uh, Ancient Tomb and Prismatic Vista to draw ancient. two. Uh, two mana, I'm going to cast Fateful Absence to destroy your creature. You get a clue token, so I have to be careful that you don't draw a burn spell and kill me. Okay, so it's just a destroy effect. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pay four mana. I'm going to cast a Questing Beast. Jesus. <laughs> uh... I'd like to announce my hmm. intentions to beep beep. Okay. I'm going to attack you with Questing Beast. I'm going to attack you with Professional Facebreaker. I'm going to attack you with a 2 2 Goblin. That's pretty bad. And make another treasure token. Okay. Well, it's not looking good. You're in a little bit of a sticky situation. Well, there. let's find out. Uh, I ain't got no blocks to Great. make. I'm going to crack both treasure tokens to activate Stoneforge Mystic to flash in the Ember Cleave. Oh, yeah. Which is going to attach itself to the questing That's beast. That's going to leave a lump. So you're going to take 10, 12, 14 damage. So I go to three? Uh, you go to three. I get a treasure token off of the goblin, and I get a treasure token off of the professional face breaker. Okay. Pass. Crack this clue. Yup. Untap. Yup. <clears throat> If you got a burn spell, I might die in my own upkeep. <laughs> oh. Flashback Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting, flashback in the graveyard. Life in the Loam. Uh huh. Queer and Dryad. Crash through. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, the tar fire. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. So tar fire is going to put me to three. Let's go. Yeah, I'll cast tar fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm at three. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. End step. I'm going to activate the one ring. Oh, baby. Put it to four. Yeah, well, I, you can peel a burn spell, too. No. I, yes, I can peel a burn spell. Or I could peer, pull a Swords to Plowshare to exile my own creature to not die. Exquisite. One, uh -huh. two, three, four. None of that. And then... We untap. One ring trigger on the stack. I'm going to activate it to draw five cards. Okay. One. Sword. Lightning Helix! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, I get the win. Perfect. I get the win oh, with my one ring trigger on the stack. I ain't even Ladies mad. and gentlemen, the one <laughs> ring won a game. Yeah. You, you know, never happened before. Like, it's never happened before. The only thing that would have made that better is if I had mana up to uh, regrow Punishing Fire off of that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have helped me, but it would have been hot. All right, with that, let's take that commercial break. We're going to run some ads, we're going to get up, we're going to stretch, we're going to bend, and when we come back, more of this. Don't go anywhere. Game. Bend. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. He's so big. Oh wait, I've got to be lower. Welcome back. <laughs> we're beating up this guy. I'm so small, I'm just a little guy. Let's get back to it. <laughs> oh my god, he's my size now. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, bud? Good. I'm excited. I, I like how fast we're playing. Dude, this is great. Yeah. All I'm right. Gonna slow it down, though, so I, uh, I don't make goofy mistakes. Mm, that's half the fun. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'm going to start with a Bloodstained Mire. Okay. Crack it for a Ready Greeny. Play the old Arbor Elf. Yeah. I'm at 19. Your right. turn. I didn't even pass the, bi the Biberry that time. Oh, sorry, pass the Biblioteca. You feel better now? <laughs> no, but... You said the Bible. The Bibrary. The Bibrary. <laughs> That's why I say it in French, okay? Yes. Now fair. you know my secret. Um, 
What am I doing here? Am I just like living a lie? Play Marsh Fats and pass. Oh. 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 Okay. Mm hmm. Boink. I'm going to play a Clifftop Retreat, which is going to enter play untapped because I control a Montagna. Yeah. I'm going to pay three mana mm -hmm. by tapping and untapping. Yes. And I'm going to pay play the Professional Face Breaker. Yep. They just want to punch. They just want to punch. Passe. All right. Uh, I'll crack this on the end step. Uh, yeah. Go grab one of these tappity tappity friends, probably uh, the surveil one. Ooh. You know what? I still haven't tried them, but they are making the rounds in Highlander. Did yeah, you... I mean, this is good in a sort of reanimate deck like mine. Um, where is this raucous theater? They are just, I mean, classic theater kids, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I have the small art uh, because I had the regular art, and then I found in our little bin of stuff that needs to go to YJ, the fancy full art foil. Ooh. So I was like, Treat okay. yourself. Treat yourself. Uh, all right, so that's going to enter tapped, and I'm going to surveil after. Eh, eh. <clears throat> what you got? Uh, I'm just going to throw this mountain into the bin. Goodbye, Montaigne. Wee. Untapped draw. Whoa! Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, oh, doodly crazy. <laughs> Playing in the Herborg. Oh, Herborg, Herborg, Herborg. Herborg, Herborg. Herborg, um, Cards in hand? Uh, mind twist? Four. Four. A <laughs> uh, mind twist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll play a Mox. Ooh! He's cooking. Um. Oh, yeah. Beep, beep. Ooh. All right. So when it attacks, you exile the top card of your library. Mm -hmm. Whenever you exile the card, you also get to put a plus one, plus one on it. Ooh. And I, I can play it this turn. Damn, dude. Like Shadow Spear gone Spirit. forever. Is that the um, uh, Lara Croft? It is. It yes. is sick. It is cheaper by a lot than really? the regular edition. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I will take three, and I will go to 16. You got it. Go for it. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Uh, I would like to return the beep beep favor. You got it. By trundling you for two. Mm hmm. No blocks. All right, so take two, 17. Uh, whenever a creature I control connects, I get to make a treasure token. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the treasure token for white mana, a white mana, a green mana, and a green mana. Questing B? No, post it's a post-combat. Post yeah. <laughs> no. We needed the treasure. Hey, I'm done with this whole initiative thing. Sure. I want to bring back an oldie but a goodie. It is time for the monarchy. Ah, yes. So, where's my crown? Bam. The monarch is back. Is good to be the king. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pass to you and draw. Okay. Huh. Well, this is... Not great. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, is this the misprint? I don't know, what word is missing from the OG? At the beginning of your, wait, at the beginning, your end step, it is! Yeah! Yeah, yeah we got the fancy misprint, there you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, Gosh, this is difficult, dude. Because then if I do this, then you can just do that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So annoying. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna tap for a black from Duressia. All right, so hits. You can pick my Savine's Wreck or my Sophie. <sighs> okay. Uh, and then I've got a Under Mountain Adventurer, Athalia, Heretic, Cathar, and a Voice of Resurgence. <clears throat> okay. Um. Eh. Uh, let's hit Savine's Wreck here, I think. Because if you get a land, no matter what, you're going to be able to do that. Um, okay. Sure. Yeah, I did miss a man, a land drop, so. Yeah, I'm in kind of a really awkward spot here. The creature that I have in my hand is not one that I really want to have in my hand right now. Um...
Yeah, I mean, hey, let's roll the bones. I'll play this Wooded Foothills. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to tap it for a black. Mmm. Uh, Urburgers and Perg. Oh, actually. Sorry. I'm going to take that back. Love it. I'm going to roll the bones here a bit. Uh, I'm going to play Wasteland. Oh. And then I'll Wasteland your tiger. Oh. Go for it. That's all I got. Hateful. Yeah. Ah, all right. Well, fair enough. I got one creature in hand, and it starts the initiative. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's what you meant. Yeah. yeah. I don't really want to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap or a, a greeny whitey, because it has to be a forest, or else I can't untap with the Arbor Elf. Yep. Oh, bummer. I mean, if I miss on that, it's... Uh, well, I mean, you still generate a treasure off of this, right? Yeah, like, but I can't... This doesn't tap for anything there, so yeah. I, I'm down... Like, that. that's a big wasteland. I, I like going for that line. I think, I think I so, really too. I really do, yeah. yeah. And if I don't hit exactly a fetch land, like, it might even cut my Arbor Elf still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start by hitting you for four. Yep. I make a treasure token... And then I'm actually just going to go for pressure here. I'm going to mm-hmm. pay three and cast the Sophie. You got it. <clears throat> uh, pass to you, draw off the Monarch. Where did I just put my hand? Do I not have a hand? Oh, no. it's all visible. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to start to turn with the face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bin this ox. Oh yeah, and this swamp. I also love that you have the Fallout Wasteland. I love that. It's nice. I, it's so good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I will play that. This scalding turn. Yep. This is kind of like so. You've got the one what gives pro me a little bit. Yeah, pro red and blue. That's the other reason I kind of liked pushing it out a little bit earlier. And you've got this undermountain adventure. Man, you've got a hot hand, buddy. Uh, I ain't a winner. Got a hot hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that's where you were going. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So I can't quite escape this bad boy yet. Mm. I mean, we're at what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight. Hmm. So crack that. Oh, I'm in a world of hurt right now, Serge. Well, I'm gonna him ya. All right. So um, I'm gonna hide my hand now. Mm-hmm. So roll a d6, and then on a five and a six, we re-roll. Sure. Four. One or four. Which side? Uh, sure. We'll do That's that. number four. Mm-hmm. You hit a, that was my top deck, a fourth Aer Lingus. Mm-hmm. What a hit. All right. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then you also take out Thalia. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, rocket, man. Go for it. So yeah, you know the last two cards in my hand. Mm-hmm. Draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to tap for a green. I'm going to tap for a white, and I'm going to cast the Voice of Resurgence. Yep. So if you try and do any instant shenanigans, and then one and sack the treasure. I'm going to give the Palace Jailer the sword, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to trundle in for uh, four damage. Yep. So take four, and then Sophie is going to trigger. I'm going to shoot you for an additional two and draw a card. Play this land. Uh, pass for the turn. Draw off the Monarch. You got it. Play this wooded foothills. I think I'm just dead. Because hmm. that alone gives pro me. 
<laughs> um, sure. I will Ooh. go grab. Snap, 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 yeah. snap. I'll go grab two mountains. Or I guess I'll grab a mountain and a Badlands. Mm. the three other Aer Lingus's. <laughs> it's not Aer Lingus one through three you have to worry about. It's Aer Lingus six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> Getcha. I don't actually know what the plural of Aer Lingus is. Aer Lingi. <laughs> there are some Aer Lingus. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> just, just a little Aer Lingi, you know? He's E.P. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, the ox has arrived. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, this is a Tolkien term. There's definitely a plural of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably in Finnish. Uh, so, uh, it big, you discard and draw three or something. I do. How big? Uh, with a one one, so it's a oh, okay. it's a five three. That was like not the worst. Um, still think I'm dead. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. Well, this is kind of funny. I'm going to reanimate your Thalia. Oh, okay. So I take three. Yeah. <gasps> One, two, three. Uh, and pass. But right, then you've got this menace friend and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man! All right, well, sorry, team. I'll be I'll be the uh, the uh, the anchor, and uh, y'all can pick up the wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get there. All right. All right. All right. Cam is back. All right, now this I, time, I've learned what? my lesson. I've learned my lesson. I can't play any threats against Cam. Exactly. Or Good. else he, That is the correct lesson to learn. Or else he turns them against me. I shall, as long as I get to draw eight cards off of oh Bloodgast. Yeah, that skull clamp put in some work for you. Love it. Have you heard of these things called fetch lands? <laughs> you get two blood gasts off of them. Yeah, you shell that box. It's two dollar. Two dollar box. High roll? High roll. I do, got a six. Do, 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 do. Camera got a nine. Nice. A difference of three Aeorlingus. Uh, Aeorlingus. All right, so apparently an Aeorlingus is the plural. <laughs> All right. So what's a singular? Aeorlinga? I mean, it would be a, a, a Rohan. Okay. Interesting. Aeroling. An Aeorling. Yeah. One Aeorling. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally Theoden saying, let's go. Oh! Right? Like, it's... it's uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. Rohan, I can't hear you. Yeah. Bear, 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 bear. <laughs> Fourth Aerlingus. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I like that. I yeah. like that new or lore. Aerling? Yeah. People of Aeor. Yeah. Let's go, bros. You want to cut? Oh, uh, no, you're good. You're good as well. All right. Ooh. One of the spicier starts in Magic the Gathering. Yeah, all right, sure, why not? I'm on the draw? That's so many fetch lands. Ah, it's probably fine. Oh, how sad for you. Fight me, Cameron. Yeah, Fight all right. me. All right, all right. Uh, flooded strand, crack it, look for a whitey blackie. Mmm. And now that we have finished doing things. I will shuffle again. Tap it and uh, DRT. Oh, Everybody yep. loves them. Yep. Let's go. I'm going to go Prismatic Vista, Mox Pearl. Uh-huh. Murder your death right. In response, I have no game plan. <laughs> 
pass to you. Okay. If you take that mox, I'm so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of tempting. Um, I should untap. Um, Overrated. You know what? Sure. I'm going to put the Sacred Foundry in tapped past the turn. Oh. I think... That Lightning Helix was extra good is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Would you like to cut? Uh, no, I'm fine. Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to play a Windswept Heath. I'm going to crack it for a Greeny Whitey. And I'm going to play a Thalia Heretic Cathar. Okay. I am at 18. I'm in my lane. I'm mm. moisturized. <laughs> it's your go. I did I'm not actually, see gonna, that coming. I was going to play a Taiga because I cut to greeny ready first and I don't want to okay. spend more time searching. Um, so all my non-basics enter tapped. And huh? creatures. And creatures enter tapped. Well, that's quite rude. Oh, wait, search. I cast Lightning Helix. I'm actually at 21. Hmm. Apologies. You, mm. you, you said you murdered him, but you murdered him with a Lightning Helix. Yeah. Not a murder. Good card, turns out. Well, all right then. This Verdant Combs enters tap. Mm. Go. Verdant Catacombs. Is that like etched foil treatment? Yeah, it's from Modern Masters 20-something. Sick. I'm not sure I like it. I think I, I think I want the original printings, you know? Fair. Well, that seems like a perfectly rational yeah, face that was to Yeah, that was my poker face there. Uh, I'm going to return the favor that Alex Ooh. did to me, except to you. Uh, We're going to go I'm to 20. I'm getting booed. It's don't it's not it's not a bad threat. It's a dwarf giant dwarf space hamster. Dwar giant dwarf space hamster? I think that's boo, right? Giant dwarf sp space ham hamster? Miniaturized. Miniature space hamster. Miniaturized. They're just a little guy. Miniature giant space hamster. So I couldn't get the actual token because it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was actually from Angel. Oh nice. Yeah, we I have the token. <laughs> Yeah, you could just take it. Wow. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I apparently do. anybody <laughs> can just walk you out with that any of the store's yeah. tokens. That's amazing. <laughs> I always just take the 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 death touch worm coil token. Mm, just the one, so people are like, oh, where's the other one? Uh, I would like to hit you for seven, Cameron. Okay. <laughs> Go. Oh. Uh. Well, I'm going to crack this, uh, go to 11, find a fore. And he'll make boo every turn, right? No, it's, it's a legendary. No, no, but like yeah. if I kill one, he just yeah, makes yeah. another one and it has When haste. it enters the battlefield or the beginning of your upkeep, you may create a boo uh, haste 1-1. One, one hamster token. That's fair. It might not be the best, but he'll make boo. I really? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. I'll also adjust the loyalty. It turns pluses? Out, turns out it's a plus one to put three plus one plus one counters on the creature. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. We have a record probably for fastest game of the night. Minzigan Boo is not an okay card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Alex left. Alex. All right, we're back at it, I guess. Ben, get yeah. in here. <laughs> what, you <laughs> killed him? No. He died. Yeah, no, no shame in scooping there, my friend. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's like got time walked by Thalia, and then Boo knocked my feet, my yeah. teeth in. <laughs> not also knocked my feet in. Okay. Damn, he's burnt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. He's birthday no beating bow. us. Hello, Hello, Alex. We meet again. The fire still burns. Welcome <laughs> again to the stage new of stage history. of history. Would you like to high roll? I mean, I mean, I always like to high roll. Uh, ten. Less than ten. I'll that take the play. So awesome. God, if you. <laughs> So who's the problem there? Is Minsk the problem or is Boo the problem? It's what? Yes. They're a team. Yeah, but like one is 
you know. They're nothing without each other. One's worse than the other. I'll keep this. I keep this. All right, good luck, my friend. To you as well. Uh, I'm going to marsh flats into a greeny blacky into a death right. Stop it. And pass in the biblioteca. Learning about uh, your relationship Ooh. dynamics. <laughs> I got crackalacked. Go. I got crackalacked. Just a body massage machine. Go. <laughs> Who wants a body massage? What does the damage, the arrow or the bow? Ooh, good call. I say it's the arrow. Yeah, but the arrow. The... <laughs> you ever had a, a bow thrown at you? It can be quite painful. That's though. true, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Gun, so guns don't kill people. Lead, lead copper jacketed alloy does. Guns don't kill people. I, I do. do. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm going to kill you. Uh, I'm going to play this flooded strand. No. I'm going to play this elf. Quit it. And I'm going to say passe. So passe. So passe. Uh, let's go kachonk. Oh, we kachonkin. Yeah, we, ch we just straight Oh, chonk. we chonkin. Oh, Lordy Chonkin. I told you not get that fat kibble. He chonkin' up. Where's my duel? I be... feel like the, the filled horn elves are like the, the... They're the, you know, stepbrother that never quite... Yeah, amount, they're, amount, they're, they're like... <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like the... They have you know, the, the exact same are the ones qualifications. That like, yeah. yeah, it's like, why is my brother so... Oh, right. It's like uh, Wayne Gretzky has a brother. Oh, that's got to be Who tough. played in the NHL, and apparently they are the highest scoring duo, like a pair of brothers ever, with Wayne Gretzky getting all of the goals and his brother getting one or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Sutter brothers didn't? Well, there's like five Sutter brothers. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this down to Get 18. Uh, I want a whitey ready tappy. Man, okay. imagine Ma Sutter's grocery bills. Oh my god. All the boys, all these hungry boys who are all playing hockey. Where's some hungry boys? All right, the mental fatigue is starting to kick in. Oh, good. Good. The marathon. <laughs> We've got him on the ropes. Uh. Yeah, I was just, I've just been doing the Rocky thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're the you're Drago. No, no, no. It's it's uh, uh, the actual rope-a-dope strategy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, like, it was six Sutter Brothers. Oh, my God. He's like iron. You want to cut there? Untap. Yes. Draw for the turn. Yes. All right. Speaking of planeswalkers that are not okay. Yes. Wait. I'm at 17. Don't do it. Have you met the very good dog? Arr. I've heard this dog's very good. All right, introducing Comet, the stellar pup. Comet's going to enter with five loyalty. Okay. Then they have one activated ability. Roll a six-sided die. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. I rolled a six. What's that do? When you roll a six, what you get to do is you get to do plus one loyalty, and, and then you get to roll a six-sided die two more times. Good God. I rolled a four. Wait, isn't there, like... Uh, the, the faintest, most slender possibility that this could just go forever? Yes. Okay. I rolled a four. On a four, uh, Comet deals damage equal to the number of loyalty counters and then get minus two. two. I'm going to deal six damage Dang to your it. creature. It's at four. I'm going to roll a d6. Okay. I rolled a three. On a three, minus one, then return a card with mana value two or less from the graveyard to your hand. Uh, it's going to go down to three. I'm Does going to return death right to my hand. Good lord. Okay. Go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Minecraft villager has entered the chat. Huh. 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 Uh. This one. There's a 0.14% chance that just kills someone from 20 the turn it comes down. That's, me that's messed up. I mean, it's not much, but... Now, what are the... There's, like, weird percentage odds, too, of, like, a Legacy Storm deck having the turn one kill. I think it's maybe similar odds. I don't know. Oh, is this another grow one? Yeah. Sick. Oh, it's whenever no. you cast a non-green spell, it I grows, right? Oh, uh, I screwed up. Take it back. Yeah, let's. I well, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast him. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. 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 
and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Writes down Just, lightning bolt. Yeah. Draw for the turn. You sure you don't want to kill this before I activate it? I, I would love to. That's a no? Okay. Draw for the turn. I'd like to activate Comet. <laughs> I roll a five. I will do three damage to that. Jesus. It goes to two. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, red and one, I'm going to cast an Inti. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to cast a Delighted Halfling. Look how happy she is. Yeah. She's just stoked. So whenever you attack, I'm curious if just going to attacks is enough to let me... Can I just loot without actually attacking here, chat, or no? Um, like, what's, the, what's the text? So it says, whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking you, creature. You have to attack, yeah, have to attack with attack. something. Yeah. Something else. Okay, that's like what I it's thought. not went on your attack step. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, comments at one, not two. Oh, good. Just checking. Uh, pass. You must attack to attack. Yes, very good. Uh, okay, so elvish farsight. Guess could say. Let's scry three and yep. then reveal the top. Ooh. Okay. All right, reveal the top card. If it's a creature, draw a card. Interesting. Huh. Shouldn't it be Elvin Ponder? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm bottom this one. Put these two on top. Yep. <clears throat> reveal Moloch. Oh, Moloch. That's a fun um, one. I will draw Moloch. Um, I will play a land. Um, and I will Moloch for one. And he's going think, to... So it's a 3-3? Three, three? Wait, actually, you could kill Inti, right? Because it fights? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to blow that thing up. It's RFG. Oh, it's Exile. Yup. Goodbye, little buddy. All right. Go. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. I'm going to play Prismatic Vista. And actually, I'm going to leave it for now, because... Yeah, if shortcut. you're a dunce... <laughs> I'm going to uh, activate mm, the Comet. Three, minus one, it's dead, and I get to return a card with mana value two or less. Does it return a land? It does. All right. Well, goodbye, Comet. Thank goodness. No, Comet. I know, my poor dog. I'm going to turn it's this flooded straight into my hand. Don't do it. The Douglier. It's a halfling. That is an elf. Your mom's a half. I'm sorry. That I spoke. Out of, I spoke out of anger. <laughs> I've only got one five drop in the deck. You know what? Let's just beep beep. Uh, I'm gonna crack this for one. I'm going to green sun while we're at it. Four. Uh, for four. Oh, stop it! Yeah, and I'm just gonna questing beast you. Uh, why does it have vigilance? Vigilante. Does it do something stupid when it hits me? It kills planeswalkers. Okay, but like otherwise, I'm just eating four. You're just eating four. Um, manger le four. <laughs> Lude. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oué yeah. le four. Manger le four. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, yeah, I'm eating four. Okay, you're at fourteen. Uh, pass. Oh, I just kind of forgot that I was also fetching for Prismatic Vista. All right, I'm telling you, the tired is starting to set in. You dirt stack. The marathon, the marathon is uh, is starting to happen here. All right. Attack. Uh, I want a greenie. I block. Okay. I kill it. Yep. It has three damage marked on it. Yeah. Needle drop. What does that do? It deals one damage to target creature or player that was dealt damage this turn. Draw a card. Sick. So I'll draw a card. What if I hadn't blocked? So I, maybe I have other stuff that I want to do. <laughs> Did you ever think of that? 
Mm. Writes down other stuff. This still should be tapped. I think you might. Oh, wait. No, yes, yes. Yes. I have not played a land yet. <laughs> I will land grant for free. What does that do? I, if I have no lands in hand, I can reveal my hand uh, and cast it for free. Search your library for a forest card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle. Isn't that like secret tech from... Um... This is like old secret tech. What's that What's that ridiculous leg legacy deck that plays Charbelcher? Isn't it like Charbelcher tech over there? Plays like one copy of um, of Taiga. Oh, let's go! Yeah, one land old Belcher tech. Yeah. Look at how sick this is. Does Belcher still do anything? It, Man, that it was a deck for fun. a while. I think Wheeler was actually trying Char Belcher and Highlander and had like an okay run with it, which is wild. Like it was on Arena, mm -hmm. and I played a couple of limited games with it, and it always felt good. Felt yeah. great. Apparently, you can Belcher on Arena these days. I should yep. Just... Gladiator Belcher. Hell yeah. Someone should do a, uh, uh, a, a, a new art for uh, Needle Drop that's just like the poke from worms. <laughs> it's just like poking somebody off the cliff. Yep. The first of many. Regrettably, I'm going to lose that thing. Oh. Like that. So I'm paying Bedlam five for that. So. Yep. Unfortunately, I have to pitch my hand, but I get to draw three fresh new cards. Actually, I'm going to... It's red. Red, I'm paying life here. I'm going to leave this untapped. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's a good call. Yeah. Bedlam Reveler. It is a 3-4? Yep. Okay. Um, oh, boy. It's a bit late, but... Abundant Harvest. Uh, I will choose non-land. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can you put that on the card reader? I have no idea what it is. No, 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 not, not the, the, card, oh, the card off of it. Yeah. Earth Elemental. Six mana, four, five Elemental. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard that are instants, sorceries, or adventures. Interesting. Interesting. Go. Cool. So I'm, Three, four. I'm starting to... Show the kind of idea. Like this is yeah, a yeah, this yeah. is a weird thing for red green to be doing. Uh, flooded strand. Okay. Crackety. Fifteen. For a second, I was like, "What happened to your uh, questing beast?" <laughs> oh yeah, I domed it. <laughs> that guy got trundled. He got straight like cut? pipered. Oh. The Sword of no. Fire and Ice. Give no. it to the Delighted Halfling. They're so happy for the three beats. Ouch. Hit you for three. Uh, uh, ooh. I'm actually going to mark two damage on the Bedlam Reveler. Okay. Draw a card. You're not the only one who can follow up with a burn spell. Gosh darn it. Passe. I do love the idea that the okay. delayed halfling is delighted because he has a giant sword. Yeah, right? It's like, who gave you a knife? You're like, yeah! It's like, what oh, have you that got? changed a knife. the context no! of this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Lord of the Rings if Merry and Pippin had Glamdring instead of Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually eight times longer. What? Yeah, what, what, why is the hobbit smiling? Oh, oh no. Uh, adventure mode. I'll pitch my hand, draw two cards. We should never have to ask, where's Pippin? Um, I'm pretty sure I have more than five instants or sorceries. I'll take your, I'll take your word for it. Let me just make sure. It's like one... We've had first stabbing, two, three, but what four, about second stabbing? Five, six, yeah, okay. So I'll pay one to cast this four or five. Okay. Uh... Uh, Go. <laughs> uh, become unwatchable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a pretty sick line here. I don't Done. like it. What now? Minskin Boo. Stop it! 
was the sick line Minskin Boo. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so we make oh, I'll here. just play this broken planeswalker. <laughs> what a good play it was to play <laughs> Minskin Boo. It's more of like a dot than a line. Right? <laughs> yes. And then we plus it. And then the good line is... Oh, it makes a creature! <laughs> we give it the sword of protection from red. And then we kill you. Yeah, uh, lightning bolt. I mean, actually, you can lightning bolt the boo token in <laughs> oh, response to the holy moly! In, I can in response to the plus one plus one Ooh, okay, tokens so, going on it. So hold on, let's let's okay. back up. I'd like to put three plus one plus one counters on boo. No, it'll, it'll kill it. Okay. That's stupid. Game on. I All wanted right. Alex to be like, no, it scoops it up again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I quit. <laughs> you can't uh, make me play. I anymore. hit you for five. Okay. I draw a card. That hamster has a sword. Death Ray Shaman. Okay. Pass. Uh, this is going to have to be pretty sick. I mean, I had Cam on the ropes and he killed me, so. <laughs> Did so you, though? You're so freaking good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for the spite play. Sure. Uh. I'll wasteland your bayou. Yep. Oh, life from the loam. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, actually. Oh, Chat was saying an even sicker line is. Boo is uh, an ETB trigger. So with like the Boo trigger on the stack, you can actually bolt Minskin Boo when it only has three loyalty, ah, which is kind of sick. I'll cycle this. Yeah, that's neat. And then I still have the Boo. Oh, I just dead. Uh, okay. Planeswalker. Okay. Yeah, so Minsk is, yeah, Minsk is technically a planeswalker that has, a, because it's got like that ETB effect, it's like one of the few planeswalkers you can actually just like hose do something because you get priority. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. That is yeah. sick. Alex, oh. thank you for the game. Yeah, I would. Wait, have hang that on either. a sec. Are you trying to tell me that the most notorious planeswalker in our format has a blind spot for lightning bolt? <laughs> Dies to bolt, man. Card's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. <laughs> oh no, I cameraed out. <laughs> You already did, my friend. You already <laughs> did. That, that was uh, that was that crap shot that we did with like Jace, back, Mind Sculptor. Oh back right, in the day. yeah, like 10, 11 yeah, years like, ago. So here's an interesting question: Should we take our final break of the night before we resume the final round of beatings? Take a short break? one. Do I need a break? I can keep going. Yeah. Then let's keep going. Yeah? All right. You're like, no rest, Surge. I didn't the attrition hear no strategy is starting well, to kick yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get him. Ugh. So, I, I mean, if you also just want to take a break from a game, we can play each other. But it's up to you. Uh, this is your to, this he, is your special day, buddy. You know what? You're a special little guy. Dethrone me. Okay. Yeah. We'll do we'll do we'll do um uh King of the Hill. Koth. Starting now. Starting right. now. All right. Hmm. Well, uh... I'm gonna get some water. New rules. Now that we're playing for keeps, oh. I'm actually gonna beat, take a game <laughs> off. High roll? Yeah. I rolled a six. And I rolled... A, a six. six. Oh yeah? Well, I rolled... A nine. Nice. And, a, and I rolled... A three. <laughs> we were doing low roll, right? Cha -cha -cha -cha. Yeah. <laughs> You assume we're doing we're high roll? You fool. Freezer. You fool. You absolute melon. I assume there's mind. people who try and get people with that. Mm. Did I ever tell you one of my favorite judge stories? Mm. So I was at an F&M. Yep. And I got a judge call from the back of the room. Mm -hmm. And somebody says, hey, we were rolling to see who goes first. And we grabbed two random dice out of the cup. We got a D6 and a plane shift dice. I rolled a three in the plane shift. My opponent rolled a three in a blank. Right. That means I go first, right? I was like, <laughs> That's where you, you go. In <laughs> fact, no, both of you are, <laughs> are out score. and uh, well, I was goodbye. Like, I was like, did you determine what the other symbols mean before you rolled the die? And they're like, no. 
Why, like, would, why would we do that? <laughs> uh, this is. Is that just a sneep? A keep. Okay. This is a f funny hand. Mm, I made them re roll, by the way. I was like, no, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, roll yeah the different absolutely. Dice. <laughs> you make them re roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's slam jam. Mm. Good luck, have fun. Yeah. I gotta get some reps in with this deck. Come on and slam, and hands. welcome to the jam. Hey, I got a you, plateau what you pass. Do? Oh. My hand is actually worse than I thought. I re evaluated it wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to play this Badlands. But it's bad. Uh, it's actually pretty good lands. Oh, well, then why'd they name it pretty good lands? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh! <laughs> okay! Turn one gamble. This is my kind of Magic the Gathering. And... Wow, it's probably this. Everybody get up. It's, it's time, time to, to slam, slam now. now. You got a real jam going down. Where the hell are my cards? <laughs> He's got five uh, reanimate targets in hand. Yeah. Wouldn't that be no great? No lands. Yeah, um, you got five targets in hand, you look for the reanimate, and you're like, come on. I mean, that's it's either reanimate or dance the dead. <laughs> um, I think it's probably just dance of the dead, eh? Yeah. All right. One one mana spell for one mana spell. Cut me, Mac. Yeah. Cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm gonna roll this twelve-sided die. There's a. Sh <laughs> yeah. We don't have a D8, man. Do we not? Oh, okay. uh, not in, not in this cup. So sure. I'm gonna re-roll on eight or higher. <laughs> One and seven. Sure. <laughs> All right. right. Four. All right, four. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it was getting in the bin anyway, but thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. We All got right. the old fans. Only fant in the bin. Okay. Oh, we got a JoJo in the chat. All right. Go for it. Draw. Ah, the Sun Petal Grove, the only green source I had in hand. Mm. Nice creature in there. Yeah. <laughs> A turn too late, my I friend. Know, A know. turn too late. Say go. Okay. I mean, I can see you've got uh, fun mana open. Um, yeah. Play the summit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my allergy meds are wearing off my power it's draining the uh, histamines yeah i mean i'll reanimate yeah. take six yeah and you got a 14. i have this only font okay um i should probably cast or spend mana for my spells that i cast <laughs> uh and then i'll bolt your death row. okay pass yeah, how many times has Death Rite been bolted in tonight? <laughs> Perhaps you're uh, familiar with the phrase, bolt the gross stinky man. Mm. Uh, yeah. That yeah. old adage. That common term that everyone uses. That is a 6-4? That is a 6-4. Flame slash for oh, four damage. Yep. Yeah, I think Death, uh, DR, uh, sorry. Death Rite Shaman tried to sell me some DMT once. <laughs> he made it in his garage. Stone 4G. Yep. I mean, after all, why shouldn't I? You got it. Pass. Hmm. Uh, Urza Saga. Oh, that's a good one. It's not a bad one. His hand is bad though now. Um, I 
I'm going to tap for one and play the Underworld Cookbook. I, <laughs> what now? It's Asmara Anamartica Dice Tina Kuldekar's book. You, tap? What? Asmara Anamartica Dice Tina yeah. Kuldekar. Okay. Uh, so I discard, I tap to discard a card. I can make a food token or for four and tap, I can sacrifice the book to return target creature card from my graveyard to my hand. How much is, oh, to your hand, okay. Yeah. Well, I was like, to play? To play? Uh, yeah, I mean, and then I play the spear. Yeah. And I will pass. Ben, that's for the saga. I know. It's one of the things I can go get with the saga. <laughs> what, you're not feeling it? That's very, no, <laughs> you're absolutely correct. Uh, I'm just gonna play a retail bone crusher giant. Yeah. I got a four mana three four. You got it. Pass. Okay. Uh, end step. I'm actually gonna tap the book. I will discard a Erberg. Erberg. Oh. Erberg. Create a food token. Yeah. yeah. Making yeah. some food. Yeah. Literally, we cooking. Uh, sorry, I should be keeping track of what point we're on with Urza Saga. <laughs> Uh, where are my food tokens? Brother. Uh... Just grab a food token from there. I had one. I just had to dig for it. Why did I buy all these tokens, Serge, if you're just not going to use them? Gonna use my them? own? Yeah. Hey, I was like not the token guy for the longest time, and in all the recording we've been doing, you know? It's true. Uh... Caracas. Oh! Yeah. Um... So that has two counters on it now. What does? Your Urza Saga. Yeah, that's why it's on the middle. Oh! That makes sense. Yeah. Anything else wrong with my board state? Uh, I no. would say it's my lack of creatures. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pass the turn. Okay. You have one, two, three, three, three four fours? Uh, I don't think this is a... They would be four fours, yes. But you have an Ember Cleave in hand. I do. I attack. Yep. Um, so Ember Cleave is plus one, plus one, double strike. So we could super trade. I think I have to block it, otherwise I just go to four. Which seems pretty bad. But maybe I don't. Oh, I know what I should have done. That's okay. Should have made one on my turn and equipped the spear to it. Uh, yeah, I'm good. No right. block or no no blocks. <laughs> I will uh, flash in the ember cleave. Yeah. It's going to attack. Uh, I'm going to hit you for ten. Yeah. Uh, you go to four. Okay. We. Umezawa's GT. Haha. <laughs> okay. Passe. Uh, okay. End step. I will tap for two, and I will make a. Constructy. Const These aren't my tokens. Um, you've got. <laughs> Not only did you bring your own tokens, you're also holding on to the entire box. Over They're there. all mine. <laughs> it's it's my birthday. <laughs> Get it. Come it's, here. I got that my my tokens, guys. I got there first. Okay, great. <laughs> You're like using your own tokens, but you're also keeping the rest of the tokens in the office hostage yes. behind you. Uh, so where I get my power from, Ben? Uh, that's fair. Uh, yeah, and then I will discard a card and make another food token. They're so big. They are large. Okay. Uh, untap, upkeep, uh, draw, then this goes down, uh, holding the old priority. Uh, I, oh, that draw made this difficult. Ooh. Ooh. No, it didn't. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, but then, yeah, okay. So I will tap for two. I will make another construct. I wasn't fast enough to grab two. He pulled the, he pulled the, the box away from me too quickly. <laughs> Let's use some dice to keep track of this now. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. They're both six sixes. But they're about to become 7-7, seven, seven, Serge. Hmm. 
In the old Moxerino? Probably. Probably. Moxerino Cappuccino? Moxerino Cap... Ooh. Maybe. Hmm. How much mana would I have? Four? Oh, right, the uh, the mana vault. Yeah, so I have a mana vault. Yeah. So if I bra grabbed a mana vault, I could do this. I could both crack a food and equip the spear, which would be gaining me back all 10 that I lost, <laughs> which seems pretty hype. <laughs> And then you've got this Ember Cleave friend that we, we would trade currently. Well, I can do some weird shit. Right, you've got Umazawa's strike damage Jitte. And then pump it after, or yeah. shrink yours after. Yeah. Or both. Or both. I think I grab the Mana Vault here. Okay. I think. Let's do that. Okay. How's your hand? Uh, I got two cards. One's very medium, one's very good. One's very good. Yeah. Donk. Thank you. Okay. Um, great. So these are now seven sevens. Oh. We've gone to bigger dice. Bigger dice. Bigger dice and brighter pastures. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do exactly what I said. I'd like to equip this spear to one of these and crack one of the foods. Okay. You go to seven. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. But then you go down to six. You can yeah. do it post combat if you want to. I can't because I need. Right, yes, 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 yes. I think it's actually okay. Still fine? Yeah. Um, I mean, here's the weird thing. Do I just. So if I swing out with both. Well, one has something like this. It sure does. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Well, hold on. You can think about the thing too. Like you're thinking of not attacking. No, no, no. I was thinking oh. about swinging out. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have a 12 point life swing here. So I go down to 14. Uh, you go up to 13. All right. Pass. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. It's a land. I would like to equip the Umizawa's Jite onto the Bone Crusher Giant. Mm -hmm. I would like to, yeah, the good card I had was a an removal spell. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to Fateful Absence, destroying your construct and replacing it with a clue. Mm -hmm. All right, so I attack and hit you for five first strike damage. Yeah. Uh, that puts two counters on Umezo's Jite, and then I pump twice and hit you for nine. Oh, it's plus two plus two. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The other card was an elf, which was not the good card. Yeah. So I had this burning inquiry that I was wondering if I wanted to fire off and just. Each player draws three cards and then discards. Ooh. All right. Well, Surge remains in control. All right. Who am I fighting next? Mm hmm. Cameron? Uh, all right, I'll try to last longer than five minutes this time, but no promises. <laughs> we count the plus one, plus one from the Shadow Spear. Oh, we didn't. That should be at 14. It's still, it's I have still one. You would have been, you would have been exact then, yeah. Man. 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 I, I like uh, how Surge uh, s said, let's do King of the Hill after he was already on top of the hill. <laughs> That's the that's the proper way to do kicking the hill. Yeah. And, then, and then you retire champion, Paul. Just stay stay up on the hill. The Someone's rich. gotta start as the king. The rich get richer. This chair is very warm. <laughs> I can't imagine why that would be. Would you like to high roll, Cameron? Uh yeah, I would love to high roll. I love to high roll. Six. Less than Four. six. Okay. Didn't love that. Mm. All right. Would you like to cut? Oh, uh, no, I trust you. All right. 
We have not seen the initiative in a while now. It was sort of like one of the defining oh, characteristics of the first couple games. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a sign. Oh, good look, all the no. Oh, this is. I'm going down to six. I had uh, a singular land in hand. It was a Caracas. Oh, this deck cannot operate on only a single white mana pip. It is. I mean, neither can this one. We mm. are alike, you and I. Mm? You're fine. So I think I've realized is Wheeler isn't good at rolling 2d6. The right side of the table is good at rolling 2d6. Because Wheeler always sits here, and Wheeler always wins the die roll. Curious. <laughs> Curious. Curious. Yeah. You're just asking Concerning. Questions. Actually kind of concerning, yeah. Looking yeah, into this. Yeah, look, I'm not saying anything. I'm just asking questions. Thank you, Alex. Looking into this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have the initiative in my deck. Everyone else brings the initiative for me. <laughs> they want to introduce it. That's their problem. Like, oh, is, is this a gift for me? Yep. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Putting the initiative in your own deck is card disadvantage, kids. <laughs> I will keep this. Yes. I will keep this, yes. Uh, I will also keep this, yes. Okay. I'll put this one back. Good luck to you, friend. Good luck to you as well. Land go. Mm. Land go. End step. <gasps> Crackety. Betrayed. Whitey, greeny, tappy. All of my chat, behold my tokens. <laughs> oh my god. Is it more than your deck? Uh, close. I've just been trying to like get the correct tokens. Yeah. You know? Like I, I like the oh, the undertaking. The new Capenna Devil, I think is good. Uh you know, the the freaky Eldrazi Scion. Uh the Metroid for Eldrazi spawn. But like this is a game where relatively few choices get to be made for aesthetics until recently. Hmm. So I've been trying to like curate it down correctly. Ancient tomb. I I appreciate the, you know, right stand the, the palace jailer. The Eldrazi scion. White plume you, adventurer. You know the freaky one. You know the, that Eldrazi that looks really weird. Mm. I have introduced the initiative. I would like to grab a basic Montaigne, and pass a la biblioteca. All right. I will draw the a card as is my right. I'll play this taiga. Um, I will cast this misprinted Perilous Mirror. Oh, what's the misprint? It has what? a tiny little smudge. Huh. Alex, you gave this to me. You, pe you peeled this in a pack in like 2010. Oh, yeah. He's got, the text is just a little smeared on him. There's a question. How do you organize your tokens? Are they alphabetical or just Alphabetical. Fines? Sick. All right, untap, untap. I have untapped with the initiative. I continue down the initiative to the forge where the White Plume Adventurer gets swole and becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Right. Draw for the turn. This is a normal card. I'm going to play a Ganjo. Okay. Ganjo? Uh, the Seat of the Empire. I thought she, oh, sorry, I thought you said Ganjo. I'd like to attack you with a 5-5. Five, five. No blocks. Uh, Alex, your mic is muted. Please take five. Uh, second main, no. I'm going to play a Giver of Runes. Mm. And I'm going to deal, well, I should actually pay the life. Two more damage to myself. To once again, some cards are defining some matchups. And in our matchups, it's always Thalia. Hmm. Intriguing. Uh, pass. End step. Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. Oh, it's upkeep. Sorry. Go to you. Untap. Untap. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, untap a creature you control. If you've completed a dungeon, untap all of your creatures instead. Concerning, if true. Um, Misty. Just I tapped, unfortunately, because of Thalia, the heretic Cathar. Right. Memory. <laughs> and I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. 
mesmeric fiend. Ooh. Uh, your Show hints me your secrets. are Path to Exile or Palace Jailer. Interesting, actually. Like, if you path my stuff, I don't really care. Palace Jailer's pretty annoying. Palace Jailer's like an O-ring, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the Palace Jailer. Okay. I mean, either one of these <clears throat> hits the Mesmeric Fiend. Yeah. Um, all right. I untap. I continue down the dungeon, and it deals five damage to you. Okay. I play a land... For the turn, it's the mountain that you know about. I express my intent to attack you for eight damage. I block the white plume adventurer with perilous mirror. Mm. So first strike damage is going to deal three damage to you. Yep. And then regular combat damage. I assume you're going to kill Thalia. Yes, I am. Yeah, love it. Second main. Cast, wait, no, gave her runes already in play. <laughs> Which means I could have I protected cast... it. I'm too tired. Oh my god. I thought that wasn't in play. Uh, well, it's. Did she get protection from artifacts? Yeah. Oh. Wait, no, it's protection from colorless, which is artifacts. So I could have protected it. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. We'll just, we'll just keep going. Serge, you could just lose the game. <laughs> I mean, that would be a lot of work right now, I feel. So it's your go. Okay. Oh, untappy. Hmm. What if, what if I crack this Misty, mm. find a greeny blacky, Ooh. I believe, or perhaps a greeny whitey. What did you just call me? You heard me. Okay. I suppose I could find a bluey something by you. Oh, you shouldn't have. This is unfortunate. How is this only turn three? <laughs> Ancient tomb. <laughs> right. It's a heck of a magic card. Fast mana, man. Yeah. Um. And I have I'm missing a land drop for the turn, which is rough. Um. Jeez, how do I stay alive? Okay, I think what I do here is I'm going to Mog War Marshal. Yeah. Get a get a lad. And uh <laughs> not count. Go. <laughs> okay, so end step. I'm going to path. Your mesmeric fiend. Okay. And return the palace jailer to my hand. Untap. Uh, Undercity is going to draw me a card. I'm going to draw a card for the turn. I'm going to cast a red and a white, an ancient tomb, to fourth Erlingus for okay. three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, you're running hot tonight. I'm. Uh, it. This has never happened before. I just can't wait for the YouTube comments of like, man, has Surge ever won a game of Magic in his entire career? <laughs> Prior to tonight, we keep going. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, well, who's up next? Or Is are we it? done? I guess, well, ugh, if Alex left the room again. All right, Ben, one last one. This is probably the final match of the night. I got this. Come oh, on, Ben Ben. I just want one W tonight. <laughs> Avenge me. <sighs> All right, Ben Ben. I got this. First off, you roll first. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll first? Same time. All right. Uh, High roll or low roll? different color dice. High roll or low roll? High roll. High roll? Yeah. All right, count us in. Three, two, one. I got a six, you got a seven. All right. All right, All right. All right. it's All the right. beginning. It's All the right. beginning. All right. All right. Like, so you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. I think I have pretty good starts, and then I just gas out pretty quickly. It's what mm. I'm feeling like tonight. That's all. So I just got to keep the gas going. 
Notice. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. That seems like your game plan this <laughs> tonight. It, it's been pretty sick. I don't think you've had more than like three lands or like four lands in some games. It's been it's been interesting. Yeah. I've been able to do a lot with very little. Yeah. And I mean I, that's kind of Naya like. Yeah. You can get it through your creatures. With the and elves like other for sure. Like I think I've been pretty vulnerable too. Like the game I got run over. Alex had the early disruption for my mana dorks, and yeah. I just like kind of spun my wheels a little, you know? You got crundled. I did get crundled. We had a hell of an opener with the crundler. <laughs> it's a crundler. Hmm. I keep, I keep. This is the 10th game of the night, by the way. I feel like this is maybe the highest density of Just magic output, games. Just output, magic output? Yeah. We've gotten in some in a very long time. Is this the new meta? I keep. All right. Hit me, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sort of sitting here thinking about yeah. my life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. Okay. Uh, Shadow Blood Ridge. The land that doesn't produce any mana. Turn one. Yeah. And this mocks. Oh. Uh, do that. And then we'll do that. Ooh. Okay. Uh. That's a that's a spicy. That's a spicy start. It's not bad. Find anything. Yeah. Find any card. Anything I want. The world is my oyster. Set to drain. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not bad. That's pretty good. I, I like to think that the expression on the, the demonic tutor's face on the card is... His reaction after you tell him what card you want. <laughs> like, oh, really? Judging no, you? It's like, really? You have, have every card in your deck. That's the one you picked? Okay. <laughs> sure, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think... Sorry, this is uh, no, 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 no. probably quicker than I should have done all this, but... I saw the line to do something neat. Maybe I'm just grabbing that. Here you can you can show chat your options. I'll close my eyes and they can see what you're you're pondering. Well, I mean it's so early in the game, right? So it's like we got like maybe just that, which is pretty hot. There's like these kinds of things. Um, so the, I'm, going, the, I'm going into the next turn with three mana unless he decides to wasteland me. Um, maybe it's that. You want to call in the uh, the assistant coaches? I think I'm okay. Mm. Hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this. Might not be the right play, but I'm gonna grab this. Okay, all you, buddy. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for the turn, Horizon Canopy, tap it, I'm at 19, and I got an elf. Yeah. Actually, a human, a human monk. Pass. Guess what I actually should have done is grab a two drop. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna play... Yagma mm. tomb, and tap for three, and I will cast this prototype of the fleshy pea. Oh, so it's a three-three with menace, lifelink, ward, pay life equal to its power. Sick! I've always loved that card and mm -hmm. never actually played it. That's very cool. Uh, so we'll just do this, so you know. Yeah, uh, and I will pass the turn. Untap, draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to play this uh, basic swamp, <laughs> flooded strand. I'm going to. Oh, 
That's fine. I'm going to crack it for a whitey greeny. Yeah. Whitey greeny. Savannah. Menace. Mm-hmm. Menace lifelink. Lifelink. Would you like to cut? Dunk. I'm out. 17. I'm going to cast an Delighted Halfling. You got it. And then a greeny and a whitey. I'm going to cast a Voice of Resurgence. You got it. And I'm going to pass. Interesting. Um... Hmm. I'm tap for two. Play this Dothy Voidwalker. Oh. Yeah, you are. Combat. Yeah. I will swing for three. I got a 14, you got a 23. Mm-hmm. Uh, land for the turn is going to be this wasteland, and I'm going to get rid of uh, that one. Yeesh! Okay. I mean, it, it it's not bad for you. You've got two dorks, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to pay white, white, and colorless. Al, I'm going to cast a Skyclave Apparition. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to exile your Dothy Voidwalker. Yep. And then I'm going to, do I double block next turn? Or do I get in for beats? I can't, I have to be defensive here. Uh, pass. Okay. Uh, chat brings up that the land is exiled. Oh yeah, this land would have been exiled underneath the Dothy Voidwalker. Oh, you're right, sorry, yeah. Um... This card is so good. Yeah, it's Dothy Voidwalker is so a great card. It's, good. Uh, it's a hell of a card. Especially when you're playing like proactive hand attack, because you can set up like, yeah, I'll make you discard your biggest creature and upgrade my Dothy Voidwalker into it. Yep. Um, I'll face of sleeping. Yeah. That was uh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Once again, shout out to how good that Fallout Wasteland is. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. It's pretty. Um... What's he pitching? Really tough. Yeah, I'm going to. God, this is really difficult. I think it's these two. I'm gonna pitch Ravenloft Adventure in Caracas. Huh. Okay. God, what else is in your hand? It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. This is what I tutored for. Oh, the Ravenloft. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was not a great, it was not the correct thing, I think. But, hindsight. Uh, I'm going to play this Bloodstained Mire. Yep. Uh, combat. So uh, oh, a double block? Uh, yeah, so I'll bolt. Go! Uh, well, I guess, hold on. First, I'll crack this yep. and grab... Uh, Badlands, and then I will spend it to bolt the, uh, yeah, the, the apparition. Yeah. So I don't know if we had uh, a token for it specifically, but this spirit is a 3 3. I grabbed just. Uh, it's I, an illusion, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, I tried to find a star star illusion. I only found a 1 1 illusion. Okay. That's where we had that one. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing this Badlands, playing that. Um, so then my voice resurgence is going to die from combat. You're going to gain three life. I'm going to make an XX elemental creature token. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, sorry. Did you so, gave me the life? I, uh, you'll be at 25. Cool, yeah, sorry. We're proceeding through things that I'm still trying to... No, no worries. I, yeah, I think I'm supposed to block that either way. I think so. Because yeah. I think you're happy with that attack either way, too. I don't know. Oh, sorry, that's a... That should be a 2-2. Two, two. What the hell is this bad? Because it's equal to the CMC, right? Yes. That's not in my hand. I know the one card in my hand. Did the Badlands disappear? <laughs> I mean, oh, we, there saw it it, we saw it in a game. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, and then I have nothing else. Go for it. So this is currently a 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Got there with a land. Nice. Now what? <laughs> Luminarch Aspirant. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go to the beginning of combat. I'm going to pull a plus one, plus one counter on the Aspirant. And then I'm going to pass. Draw. Interesting. What you got going on over there? My graveyard? Mm -hmm. I got a Skyclave Apparition and a Voice of Resurgence. Hmm. Skyclave Apparition have any keywords? Vigilance or nothing like that? Uh, ETB Exile a Permanent. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a pretty good keyword. It's not a keyword, though. Yeah, I know. It <laughs> so it's none. Yeah. Uh, okay. I am going to play a card that I haven't actually played with at all, but it seems kind of fun. Uh, I got this Urburg Scurvager. And you cast it off an Urburg. And I cast How it off an Urburg. Flavorful. Added value. So when it ETBs uh, or attacks, I exile a card from a graveyard. I put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And then it has that uh, text where it's like, it has ah, flying. If it's yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take the... Yeah, we'll take the... the voice of Resurgence. Or actually, no, I'll take the, the, the Skyclave. Okay. So it's got a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And I will pass the turn. Yeah, it's from Aftermath. So it's kind of one of the, one of the things that you can sort of forget about. Uh, no. So, everybody gets it in Anarchist. Skyclave doesn't have flying. Yeah, Skyclave it, Apparition. It's just a spirit. It's, yeah. it's got a lot of text, but it's got no flying. Is it from Strixhaven? Uh, no, it's from uh, or the one uh, Zendikar. The school? Oh, yeah. it's from Zendikar. Because, like, there's the um, the school plane. Mm -hmm. They're all 2-2 two -two spirits without flying. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, it's not that unusual. Yeah. I'm going to um, go to combat. Yep. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one co counter on the Luminarch Aspirant. I'm going to attack you with a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I'll take four. Right, you're at 25. I'm going to say go. Sure. <clears throat> He's almost under 20. I, I do like that the Sky Cave Apparition, it's, it does the O-ring effect, except doesn't give you your thing back. <laughs> That's it's why like, it's so good, Paul. Mm -hmm. It's like, here's this thing. Here's a spirit. It's basically as good as the thing I stole. Now, wait a second. It's called Sky Clave, <laughs> not Ground Clave. <laughs> um, okay. Combat. Yes. Uh, I would like to swing with the scavenger. I will exile your voice. So hold on. It, just go to your attacks first. So is it just with that one? Yes. Okay. I will respond to that attack trigger. Okay. And lightning helix it. Uh, to do three damage to it before it gets any yeah, bigger. You got it. Okay. So I'll go to 16. So it is still attacking. or So I'm going to still say you have the attack trigger, so it will get exiled. That's true, yeah. Okay, so yeah. That is still gone. But I just wanted to make sure, if you had any other attacks, I wanted to get as much information as possible yeah. first. Um, okay, I'm going to play Persist. Uh, we're going to Persist the Ravenloft Adventurer. Return target non-legendary creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
with a minus one, minus one counter on it. Sick. Okay, we got the initiative. It's a two, three. <clears throat> yep. Uh, so I got the initiative. I'll go grab a land and I will pass. Uh, I'm going to grab a mountain and I'll pass to you. Uh, do you want to play it? Oh, right. I guess I didn't play a land this turn. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Did, did this card exist before the keyword and then they like put persist no. no 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 this is from uh, modern horizon yeah it's kind of a callback to that mechanic yeah. though oh okay all right i'm gonna crack this wooded foothills and go down to 15. Mm -hmm. uh that is going to get me a you are fine a ready greeny dually mm -hmm. you have three creatures I got three creatures. Would you like the cat? Uh, I'm gonna tap this for a black so it doesn't deal damage to me. Mm -hmm. And one, uh, love this initiative thing you're doing. I'd like to try it out. I'm sure. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, go for it. I'm gonna cast the Under Mountain Adventurer. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes into play, I seize the initiative. So I'll do this, I'll do this, uh, and I will grab a basic forest and put it into my hand. This is now at five. I'm gonna go to combat, put a plus one, plus one counter here, uh, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. All right, untap, draw. Like to cut? Uh, no, you're good. Are you doing kind of like a scam thing with your deck list too? Oh, no, not hand. really. Okay. I mean, I'm just looking at persist and just imagining it on like any of the elemental invocations or this, and yeah. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah. Um, but that's why it's here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um. That was a very good card to have, Surge. Oh, taking the initiative back without having to attack. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> You just have the right amount here. I wonder if I just sort of have to play aggro. Fury. Okay. So I think Ooh. what I have to do here is go all of it on probably the Illuminar gas. Right, because it has four toughness currently and yeah. you want to get rid of it before it gets too out of control. Yeah. So that goes down to four. Yeah. And then, God, it's just such an awkward amount. Because it's like, so you block like there and then I can swing with everything, which will get me it. Yep. Then I get to eat this because I can double block on this side. Yeah. And then take the other damage. You take the initiative. Oh, back. I'm sorry. That is exiled with a hit counter on it. Oh, from Random this one? Off. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is the, the play. I think you're just, yeah, we'll go like this. Swing with everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to double block the George mm -hmm. with uh, the two, the three, four, the four, four. Okay. So I'm going to take three damage. Is that correct? Is there any uh, other weird shenanigans? Four anything? damage. It's a three, four. Oh, pardon me. Pardon. Okay, okay, so I'll take four. I go down to 11. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to gain three. That's going to die. The initiative is yours. You may advance down another floor. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go to the forge. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put these counters. I mean, so I could put it on Fury. That's spooky. I assume you probably got something in the way of removal. I mean, we're both in those colors. <laughs> sure. Go for it. Basic forest. 
You have the initiative now. I've got the initiative now. You have three creatures. Uh, I'm going to cast Fourth Air Lingus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm going to cast it for X is three. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to make three. Where'd they go? They're in this pile. Two, two friendos. Yep. With trample and haste. Mm hmm. Uh, and then all three of them are going to hit you. All three of them? What if I block one of them, sir? Well, then only two out of the three strikers. will hit you. <laughs> yeah. So I'll take four, Kay. and then you'll gain the initiative. So not only the initiative, but the uh, whenever one or more creatures you control can deal combat to player, we've also introduced the monarch. Uh, Hell I'm, yeah, brother. I'm also going to go down the uh, Let's Rumble side of the jungle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put two plus one plus one counters on the under... Mountain Adventurer, this is at two. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's now six, six. Mm -hmm. Pass. Okay. Untap. Oh, uh, uh, end step, draw step off the Monarch. Mm -hmm. End step, draw step off the Monarch step. Uh, I'll flashback. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okie dokie. I will throw this blood crypt and this Luris into the bin. <laughs> So Lightning Bolt is in your graveyard as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, Dothy was exiled. There we go. Okay. Um. God, you've got all this wingesses and dingus. <laughs> so if I swing out. Get in, you take five because of that. So you do six, you block fury. Mm -hmm. And then I get the marquee. I think I've got to force you to do some stuff here. I'm going to tap this for red and black. I'm going to terminate your Undermountain Adventure. <laughs> Combat. Swing with the squad. Swing with the squad. So I'll block Fury. Yeah. Uh, and I've got a kill spell. Oh, no way. For the 2 2. Okay. But you still get in uh, with the... Under Mountain Adventure, go under here, by Yes. The way. You still do get in with one creature. Yes, for two. So you hit me for two. I go mm -hmm. to nine. Uh, the Monarchy and the Initiative are both yours. Yeah, mm -hmm. first strike damage kills the Elemental, so that's gone as well. You'll take five. I take five. I'm at four. Mm -hmm. What does this do when you, the creature's underneath? Uh, so whenever it attacks, uh, if I've completed a dungeon, you lose one life for each card that, that's in, <laughs> that's got a hit counter. All right. Yeah. Um, Terrifying. Yeah, I will go to my end step and draw for the monarch. And steppy, draw off the monarch. Untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, all right, first order of business. Yep. I'm going to attack you for four damage. No blocks. All right. So I take back the initiative. I'm also going to do five damage to you. <laughs> yeah. Just rock 'em, sock 'em robots yep. over here. Haymakers. Yeah. Uh, next order of business. Uh, I'm going to pay 
three mana mm -hmm. to disguise a card. Ooh. What is the, the good disguise card? The Right, the Rhino. It could be anything. It could be anything. You never know. Um, actually, do you mind if I... Not tap like a ham sandwich? <laughs> yeah. No, I need a white source untapped. Oh. Can I read this elephant now that I know what it is? <laughs> Forget how the elephant works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, it's this guy. Yeah, it's for two. Yeah, and exile another non land permanent, return it to the battlefield. It, it, all right, otherwise I make a detective. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you need a white. So, I got another card in hand that I want to cast, but. Um, I can pay one life from this, but I'm in bolt range, so I don't I don't think I get to double spell this turn. Sure. I mean, bolt's in the bin. Yeah, but you've other... There's a lot of things in red to deal three <laughs> damage, man. In red! There's, there's a lot, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to pass deal three. and yeah, draw right. off the monarchy mm -hmm. and say go. Yeah. Island, Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt, GG. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, well, I mean, you are correct. So I swing, you exile the thing. The elephant's a 2 2? Yes. Lose no, this guy no matter what. Then I get a 2 2. You've got to tap most things. You'll lose your halfling. Sure. Combat? Yes. All right. Uh, before Blockades. Mm -hmm. After Blockades? Um, that is a 2-3. Mm -hmm. I'll double blockity. Okay. Uh, Actually, I could triple blockity. You sure could. I triple blockity. Yeah. Uh, and then I, have to, I have to put them in Right, order. yeah, and then you order them. Um, this mysterious 2-2. It what could, could it be? It could be anything. Yeah, I mean, I think it's actually, like, probably better to just, like, start cutting you on mana. The fact that this is a 1-2 is mm. absurd. Uh, Who's that disguised creature? It's Clefairy. <laughs> Let's do you. that, I guess. And we'll, yeah, we'll okay. go for this pelican. And oh, then I will flip it. Yes. Oh my god. Do it. Wait, I grabbed it. I grabbed it. Well, you have a detective. I've got this detective. My fury turned into a, an alcoholic. They were on the case all along. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why this was there. Okay, and then now we got big traitorinos. Yes. So, hey chat, I'm very tired. Does this also exile because it died, or does it die with the other one so it's not dead? Uh, you know what I'm saying? There's a static ability as they go to the graveyard, but they go to the graveyard at the same time, so yeah. I don't know if that... It is exile, by the way, for that thing, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, exile another target non-land permanent. If you controlled it, return it to the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, its controller creates a 2-2 two, two white and blue detective creature token. It goes to graveyard. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So you're going to tap with this. You get to draw a card. <clears throat> Hold on. I could. I haven't played a land this turn. There's a very interesting line here. Mm. Um, well, you've got these butts on the ground. And how many cards in hand? Two? Three cards in hand. Three cards in hand. Oh. 
Can I play this box? Yeah. Okay. Six mana. Maybe this is bad. I'm going to reanimate uh, targeting Ravenloft Adventure. Yeah, okay. So I was thinking about the Phyrexian Gorger, but sure. it's taking seven, which sure. would bring me to four, and yeah. if you have any removal, I just die. Right, right, right. So right. I do this. You take back the initiative, you draw a card. Yeah, I t one, two, three, four. Oop, uh, I was at... 11. Yeah, that looks right, right. Yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, take back the initiative, draw a card. There are so many cards in my deck, and this might have been like the worst one I could have drawn. <laughs> oh, what a heartbreaker. Um, oh, wait. No, yes. A heartbreaker. Because uh, then I could block, block. I'm still technically alive. Oh, so sad. Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's true. What up? Ah, oh, it's fine. You wouldn't have been able to pay the ward. Oh. Yeah, I should have taken that. Damn it. That's all right. I mean, yeah. There's nothing that could okay. happen. Yeah. Okay. I also drew a mox. Nice. <sighs> okay, so if I attack you with three creatures, I can take the initiative back to draw a card. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then do I die on the crackback is always an interesting question. Um, I have this Umizawa's Jite. <laughs> always. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it on the gatekeeper. Yep. So if I attack with everything, it's exactly lethal, you have to block. Yeah, I do that. I attack with uh, two two twos and a three two with a Jite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll block one of the knights and then like that. And so you lose okay. the knight. Uh, wait, hold on. I guess no matter what, I'm losing my raven lock yeah, here. Yeah, man. So this dies, that dies. I'm yep. going to use the two tokens to finish that off. Mm -hmm. and you got I the have initiative. the initiative. I draw a card. Uh, I'm going to use. Nope, can't do that. I uh, don't want to. Do that. I drew a card off the initiative. Yeah, I will pass and draw a card. Sure. Um, I, you're doing that. Sorry, I'm gonna swamp cycle this troll. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you take two damage. You're at five. I'm at five. Man, yeah. I really should have. Uh, really should have just uh, got the flesh gorger because you couldn't pay, and then uh, you've just got this thing that like sucks for you to attack into. It's a 7-7 seven, seven Menace Life Linker. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. We'll come around. We'll ward come. six? Yeah. It would have been ward, it would have been ward pace seven life. <laughs> you get really low off of that though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, well, you'll see the other card that I drew. Mm. Um, actually, no. No, you won't. <laughs> Play this regular. Oh, monkey! Regular monkey or dash monkey? Regular monkey. Regular monkey, okay. Oh, pass to you. Pass to me. Uh, all right, I untap. I untap with the initiative. I go to the final chapter. On the final chapter, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. Put a creature from amongst them onto the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters. It gains hexproof until your next turn and then shuffle. Mm -hmm. 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm sure there's a good card or two in there. 
Death right. Okay. Prismatic ending. Okay. Land. Yeah. So far you've hit one thing you could cast. Land or Aether Vile. Yeah. Land. Yeah. Thalia. Okay. Minskin Boo. Yeah. Savine's Reclamation. Ignoble Hierarch. Mm hmm Okay, so Thalia or a Deathrite Shaman. How many counters does it get? It does get three plus one plus one counters. Okay. And Hexproof. And then what do the other ones do? Uh, bottom, I think. Or yeah, the Ignoble Hier Hierarch you could also do. Yeah, the Hexproof is only temporary, but the counters yep. are... But if Creature Guard from amongst them onto the battlefield, the plus one plus one counters against Hexproof. Then shuffle. Okay. Then shuffle. Then shuffle. Then we shuffle. Hexproof is temporary. <laughs> the counters are forever. Counters are forever. Doink. Draw for the turn. Another mox. Mm-hmm. Red, red, and three. I would like to hard cast a fury. Yes. I'd like to do all four damage. To my monkey. To your monkey. I'd like to pay a colorless and a black mana because of Urberg mm -hmm. to give the two to the GTA. Okay. I'd like to attack you. Oh! Hard casting pyrokinesis. <laughs> Absolutely nuke it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. This was what I had in hand Yeah. Uh, when I was deciding whether I wanted to do the line and, and draw when I took the initiative. Sure. Uh, and so I was like, if I draw a land, I can play this big beefy dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got three guys in the way. Uh, anything else, I still have five mana, hope I could play it. Pyrokinesis is what was drawn. Wow, yeah, I can see what you're like, man, what a terrible <laughs> yeah, like draw. like literally the worst draw. Man. <laughs> uh, pass, draw off the Monarch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what we got? <laughs> uh, GG. Oh my God. Okay. I yeah, I think I'm. I think I died of flesh, George. Yes. Yeah. I, yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, the first time running the deck, I uh, never never resolved a flesh, George, like big big in that. So, yeah, that was a, that was a massive misplay. But I had a lot of fun. Oh my God. And uh, happy birthday slash welcome back, buddy. <laughs> What a night. Oh my god. So this was very, very, very fun. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate it. So yeah. thank you everybody for coming and hanging out with the Welcome Back Birthday Beats. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Serge. Come on out, out, friends. That is going to do it for tonight, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Friday Night Paper Fight over here at the Loading Ready Run Mega Entertainment Network. I've been, I've been Serge, joined by Cam. Huh? We got a Ben. Hi. We got an Alex. Meow. I want to say a huge shout out to Paul running tech all night. Hello. Reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you, their support of the Patreon, patreon.com slash loading ready run. And the Friday night paper fight is brought to you in part by the wonderful people over at Card Kingdom, cardkingdom.com slash LRR as an affiliate code. If you want to buy a Minskin Boo and be mean to your friends, you can do it there. <laughs> and if you say loading ready run, send me a button, please. You'll get a button that says Newt, Newt. Uh, go to, to Newt Step. step. Go to Newt Step. Newt, Newt Step. You can they... buy... Oh, sorry. sorry. Please. No, no, no. Do no, it. No, I was just going to say you can buy a Aerolingus uh, <clears throat> first through fourth there. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.